All right, so I talked a couple weeks ago about programming changes on the dog walk. If you remember, it was on the April 12th episode um, with Chief, and uh, I should have said it on the draft. It just slipped my mind at the time, but that's when I told you that we got rid of the Friday uh, episodes um, because I got a new thing launching. Well, that new thing's ready to launch. It's launching tomorrow, so I wanted to talk about that really quickly before we get into a great draft with Clem. Um, that is this new show called Rebuilded that I'm doing with Tim Grover. So if you don't know who Tim Grover is, Tim Grover is Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant's former trainer. He also trained Dwayne Wade, Charles Barkley, like you name it. This guy's like worked with them in some capacity. Like it's super impressive guy. And uh, he's a local Chicago guy. Obviously, he started with MJ here in Chicago. And uh, so I'm doing a health and wellness show with him where he kind of gets my ass in shape. And uh, we talked to a bunch of cool guests. We talked to him like about, you know, Jordan stories and whatnot. So a lot of really cool stuff. So if you want to check that out, it's going to be on the Barcelona Chicago YouTube. Um, so you could, if you watch this draft on YouTube, you will get the right there. So that's the best way. If not, go to Rebuild It uh, on uh, the podcast app. It's going to be on every podcast app. But I want to get that out first. Um, yeah, check it out. It's only eight weeks, so it's only a mini series. I'm not giving you a super long commitment. So I know how that is. We've talked about my show anxiety on the show. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, check it out. It should be cool. It's different than anything that Barstool has ever done. Um, Going to have some great guests and some just interesting people, just like intermittent fasting doctors and whatnot. So tune in. I hope you tune in. Uh, if not, thanks for tuning into this. And yeah, let's get into the show. All right, Bang Bang. It is Monday. It is May 2nd. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. It is Snake Draft Monday. We have a regular guest. We have one of our favorite guests, and he's in studio for the first time. It is uh, Clem Zingas. Clem, welcome. It to feels Chicago. great to be here, boys. I can actually great to see your here. eyes as we do this instead of just being on Zoom and watching the chaos unfold on my computer and then chiming in here and there. It's great. So, Clem, you're in town for the dozen. And I think instantly when we found out that ZD was in this, I texted you. I was like, hey, we need you in here early. We need an in person stink <laughs> draft. Yeah, so you told me come in early. I booked the first flight I could find out of New York to here, and that was, I think, 7 a.m. So I had to tell my wife to, I was leaving the kids early <laughs> so I could do a snake draft with the boys, which, again, she loves. So I'm sure she, <laughs> yeah. Shout out, wife, Anna, you're listening. Thank you, Mrs. Clem. Um, but you also told me the draft, like, what the topic late last night so i had no time to do the proper amount of research not an excuse just like i'm coming in i'm straight off the flight straight here bags are somewhere in the office right now which the office it's so nice to be at a barstool office with all the fun stuff but everything isn't broken because there's like eight billion people just ruining shit mm -hmm. so. well there's been a lot of people in from new york in the last month or so and yeah so it's gonna get fucked up this so. place yeah. probably looked a lot nicer like it did yeah there like wasn't January. boxes of shit everywhere uh <laughs> <laughs> so you said you're not prepared too much that's fine i'm sure you'll put together an excellent board nevertheless but since you're on the uh the council for voting how is that going to work what council do you speak of i'm on the council yeah. why what makes you, also known as the kremlin what makes you insinuate that he's on the council yeah i was just trying to set him up. i was just making sure i will I say i was hoping he'd inadvertently spill spill it the council I'll tell you the council I have a problem with. The council of people sitting here that had the John Daly off the board. Oh, God. It's, All right. Well, this is know. two weeks ago now because yes, we're recording yes. this. But mm -hmm. that to this day will be well, a black eye on this. Well, let's uh, let's open it up here. Let's see if the, the last guy to concede, if he'll, uh, if he'll concede. <laughs> Look, at, it, at this point, I just don't <laughs> want to concede. I do have a little bit of a problem, though. What? Someone, I don't know if you guys saw this tweet. Dog Walk was tagged in and I was tagged in it, but way back to the Barada draft, the summer foods draft, I called the John Daly a cocktail. Oh, wow. So Ooh. that's a tough look. So now I'm just like caught in the middle. He's but I've box. always said like I could be convinced if someone just came up with a good argument. I haven't heard it yet. If but that video, cock, like that was a pretty video that Cog Hill made. Oh, oh they did a great beautiful. job. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Cog Hill. <laughs> like that, look was it. Just, that was a full on mm -hmm. dunking right in your face. Yeah, but like also not like the, still the volume that Arizona Ice Tea does far exceeds any, what the volume anyone else does, and their drink came out before the John Daly term was invented. I, it's now how do you know that if the I, if the, the I know, but I'm saying if the genesis is a mix of iced mm -hmm. tea and lemonade, there's not going to be any data on like a guy at home was like yeah, I like a lemonade and iced tea, and I poured it in a cup together. Mm -hmm. In terms, uh, oh sure, sure. That's but what like, I'm saying. Like I know that Arizona Ice Tea mm -hmm. moves a ton of it. Yeah. But like, you, there's no way to compare it. Five hundred a year it. in mm -hmm. 26, starting in 2016, was when that was when that article was from. So it's probably more than that now. I love it when I'm hungover. 
Yeah, it's a great drink. It's a great drink, and, and they packaged it before the John Daly term was a thing. I look at I, I we said no mixed drinks, meaning a can with something, and that to me, if you're doing that much volume and the the majority of it, it it's like you, you could do it like you could say that about almost anything. You know, uh, like it, it's kind yeah, of uh, daiquiri. So needless martini. to say, folks, there is no concession speech right now. I don't. Um, it's almost like like a fuck you at this point. <laughs> like I'm just not. I've decided I'm not going to concede, and uh, and that's the way. It I is. think the only the the best argument you could have, and, and this is regardless of you calling it during the Barada, whatever other draft it was, calling it a cocktail. Like Carl said, it's not within the like a Long Island iced tea to me is not a cocktail because that's like a cheap shitty college bar drink you're looking to get fucked up on. Like a cocktail, I'm mm -hmm. thinking like classy. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where I think you should have just been like, not a cocktail. There, isn't there a drink where you could just, they say they take the rag and they like wring it out and you just drink it. Like uh, if someone yeah, called the, that a cocktail, uh, I have to punch uh, him in the face, right? I, I've heard it. It's I the forget bar what mat. The bar, bar mat. mat. It's, yeah. like, it's like a 21 year, you know, 21st Gross. kind of drink. A, a man who will not concede and has a ravenous online fan base that'll believe anything. I mean, I've seen this story before. I don't like where it's headed right now. Yeah. So I think con conceding would be the right thing, but that's just me from well, afar. I don't blow with the wind. If someone if someone comes up this with is a great Barada argument, like, yeah, here's Barada I'm voice. not gonna look at. We it's established, White Sox Dave. yeah, huh? yeah. White Sox Dave. But no, that's not the same Fucking, thing. Yeah, he, you said your own name. About this with so much <laughs> contempt and self loathing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. So, I mean, we've been talking about this. This will be like week three. So, I think we can move on. I, I, well, in the shall landscape not... of things we talk about, that's not that long. Shrek's to do been going a, to, on to, for like to, six weeks. Yeah, yeah but not as cons we don't do it like consecutively necessarily. And for the people at home, we are recording very early this week. That so, is true. it's not that far. We don't even know who. We just aired the Bald Guys draft. Mm -hmm. So, we don't know who won. I can't congratulate anybody. But, uh, yeah. I'd like to actually congratulate myself for winning the Joe's draft. I don't know if I made an actual um, oh, so uh, uh, speech. Shout out to me. I sat in for Ch actually. I sat in for Chief that week and got the W. Good you job. disavowed my picks, and then we why won. Did I, like, wh an hour why later. did I disavow it though? I can't remember. Uh, Rogan. It was that was problematic. I, I drafted I like Rogan, Rogan, and then he had his problematic weekend like that next day. It was after. legit. He, it was a Thursday draft, and then that next day is when all that shit broke. And I disavowed him because of Rogan. That doesn't sound like me. Uh, it was like in the heat of like when shit was crazy for Joe. I mean, I he's, just I just drafted him in the I, ball draft. I think it's because yeah, I, I it was pandering because I, I I he was like not an actor or something like mm -hmm. that. So I, I, you, and you, oh, that you was, besmirched Trader Joe too, which I was very upset oh, about. Oh, I just don't like checking out there. I just don't like the checkout process. Well, that's like the nicest check. Like those people are always nice. They're wearing Hawaiian shirts. You occasionally I, get a bell ring. I, I, you don't I, like that? Mind your business. I don't want to talk about my chili. I'm just trying to get out of here. Let's, let's speed up the process. Fair but enough. But I would like to retract or concede my disavow. You, you're you're vowing now. And you're now vowing. I'm vowing. You're a vowing. Now I'm so vowing. that's a concession. We got one concession yes. from Chief. Yes. I'm, I'm a reasonable person. <laughs> so today's draft, I'm, uh, I'm particularly nervous about because I think – it's going to get blurred and there's going to be issues. Uh, it is salty snacks, non chips, obviously, because you did a chip draft. With us, so it would have made sense. Want a chip draft. Um, you want a chip draft. Yes, you're right. You're right. You won the last two you were on? Yeah, I'm Jesus. on a hot streak. And that's why I feel like I was set up to fail this one by being told late last night, early flight. I usually I would have went to the grocery store, and we talked about this. You go to the grocery store, and you just be like, all right, I, I would have forgot about that. And I like to just see all the potential options out there. It's a true road game for you. Yes, exactly. it's a true road game for <laughs> you. And I have to look you guys in the eyes. This is fucking weird. I can't say yeah, it. So you haven't so. even checked in yet for yeah. the people at home. I would say that we normally find out the topic the night before. Not before a flight, yeah. halfway across the country, well, early in the morning. He's baking in the excuses. <laughs> oh, this is Team ZD and me coming out, too. That's all he's make doing. excuses. That's all he's doing. Um, I love you guys. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, Carl. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. I'm just happy to be out here. Just no, I, we're, we're, I'm thrilled that you're here. We're Clem, very happy genuinely. to have you, Clum. Uh, now, is there anyone, is there any questions here before we start? It, to me, listen, the best way to sum this up, obviously we know it's a chip from the chip draft. And the second thing is if you go to a gas station, if you go to a convenience store, you go to a 7-Eleven, the chip rack is always usually on a corner or whatever, or even if it has its own aisle. And then there's another aisle that has a whole bunch of other shit. Mm -hmm. We're talking about that aisle. Yeah. Yeah. The, okay. It's not the candy aisle. It's not the chip no, aisle. It's exactly. the other aisle. So, like, 
the peg they're big on the pegboards where it's like it's the peg and it like sits yes. on the little thing. Very exactly. good. Yes. Very good point. Yes, yes, it's a big pegboard. And then yeah. in the grocery store, there is a separate aisle. There's the chip aisle. Then there's like the crackers and cookies aisle, which Correct. has a lot of these options. And like we said, we're not doing cookies. White Sox Dave brought up Oreos. Like that's not a salty snack. Like I googled, you were trying to get me in trouble right there. Why? Because obviously I know that uh, Oreo is not a salty snack. But, but you like, did I'm bring Googling, that up, though, didn't you, Chief? I thought he was serious. I was Googling. I, I was serious because I was a like list this. that, sorry. Yeah, the yeah. bunch of different lists had Oreos listed as like a, a top five salty snack. I'm like, what? Oreo, what? And cookies and shit like that, which I don't think constitutes a salty no, snack. No, obviously no, like no Toll House shit like that. So, yeah. Uh, any other questions? I will say this. So we, you said before the draft went live, you said, do we want to talk about this off offline or online? Yeah. And we said we're going to do it live on the show. The daily factor is how I'm going to say it. The daily factor for this is a 10 out of 10. For this category, there's going to be some potential fights about whether or not it should count. Veto, yes. The veto factor, now known as the daily factor, is a 10. Yeah. See, and this is a that's category a, that's, that's not strong for me. Not a big, you know... I don't know. I don't even know what to call it. But like typically with snack food, I struggle. That's how you end up with purely Elizabeth and things like that. So I'm worried that I, I'm on the wrong plane here and I'm just going to get vetoed into oblivion. I have you it's down for possible. one pick here that if you pick it, it's. I think it's an absolute slam. I don't want to say it. We don't say the things. Yeah. But if you pick it, it'll just be. It'll be perfectly barata. And I. And hats off. In a good way. Oh, in I a good think way. I know what it is too. I. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I think I know what it is. Uh, Carl, anything you're quiet today? Yeah, no, I'm, I like that Clem is in, and I mm -hmm. like there's just conversation. It's color. I don't have to, you know, it's great. I love to have you in, and um, mm -hmm. it's a big draft. What about chocolate stuff? Is that? Uh, is it, I think it should. You think? Sa oh. Salty stuff with sweet? Can't we yes. do? Can't we follow this up with a sweet and salty draft? I think. Yeah, I think. So I think. Uh, so if it's like one of these things dipped in chocolate, is that what we're talking about? Yeah, like I think I think maybe bring it up and see if it gets vetoed or not. Okay, all right. I, I mean, don't have anything like I that on say. my list. But we have chips, we have snacks. We could do like the like have we done a snack draft, like a pure snack draft no. that isn't salty snacks or chips. It's like in that aisle. No, we're gonna need to do like one with like the Oreo and like you know that kind of thing with different sweet categories. Snacks. Yes, yeah. that'll be sweet snacks. Yeah, 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 like yeah, sweet snacks. We're gonna have to do sweet snacks. This might be a trilogy or something. Yes, mm -hmm. along yes. Those lines. There's a lot of. Ways I love to a good trilogy. <laughs> um, all right then, let's uh, let's just get underway. We got a uh, Clem. Uh, we have Harry over there. He's got one through five behind his back. What number is it? Four. No. <clears throat> Carl. Three. Yes. Um, I'm going to take. I'm going to take the first overall pick. Okay. One through four, Chief. Four. Nope. Dave. Three. Nope. One. Yes. Uh, I'll take two. One through three, Clem. Two. Yes. What'd you take? I took two. So three through five is available. Three. Okay, good. Does this go chalk? Let's go chalk. One or two, Chief. One. No. Dave. Two. I'll take five. I had right. to do it. I feel like that's how it's been going lately. The first three go, and then someone takes the wraparound wrap around. spot. Well, the fourth is the worst spot to have. Yeah. Historically, yeah, right? Yeah, I think, I think so. that's what the uh, the stats say. Um, all right, so it's Carl, Eddie, Clem, Chief, White Sox, Dave. Salty snacks. Before we get started, though, I do want to talk about Upstart, everybody. If you are uh, in the business of looking to uh, be smarter about your debt, look into these guys because saying goodbye to high interest credit card debt is one of the first steps toward financial independence, but the interest month after month can feel like you're in a never ending hamster wheel. That's where Upstart comes in, okay? Upstart powered personal loans can help you pay down high interest debt all online with simple and easy to understand payment terms. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, Upstart can get you one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Upstart knows you're more than just a credit score, so rather than looking at your credit score alone, Upstart's model considers other factors like your income, employment, and other information provided in your loan application to find you a smarter rate for your loan. You could even receive these funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan, which is important if you need to get it quick. So... Don't wait and check your rate today at upstart.com slash Eddie. That's upstart.com slash Eddie, E-D-D-I-E, -E, to check your rate today. Please don't forget to use our URL, though, because it lets us know that we sent you. This help, that helps us out a lot. And uh, just one more time, loan amounts will be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application. 
Go to upstart.com slash Eddie and start being smarter about your debt today. Let's get underway, Carl. Um, okay, so th- I wanted the first overall pick because I think there's there's limited first round picks. I think there's a ton of like third, fourth round picks on this draft. But like as far as you're like, oh fuck yeah, give me that. Um, this one really stands alone to me, guys. I'm taking goldfish. I'm taking goldfish one overall. I just think there's some variations elsewhere. I think you get into some of the different subcategories, but p- just particularly from the goldfish standalone category, I like goldfish. You hate it. Why are you looking at me like that? I- I'm just looking. Can I not look? You could look. This raises a good question we have to add in this. That's what I well. was going to yeah. ask. Flavor wise? Do it. Yes. Yeah. You have to pick like a skew, I think. Yeah, the classic traditional. Yeah, you goldfish. Like, try so to the, add you're going cheddar or are you going plain? I'm going with cheddar. Go okay. with, yeah, cheddar. Go with the, I thought he was wait, going plain. plain. What are you doing, Clark? There's a plain. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. I thought like cheddar was the standard. I think cheddar is the original, and then they went plain. I feel like that's the the. And then you take those plain ones, you just throw them in your soup. Yeah, so they're it's, like oyster it's like crackers. A, it's a like bit. a yeah, light blue bag. Yeah. I did not know that there was a plant. I didn't oh, know yeah. that either. They're good. I like them. Now I think there are better snacks on the board, but I think the goldfish stands alone. I think it's a very good like <laughs> unique. I don't know that it's a first round pick for sure. So so, parent, we need to talk to the parent. <laughs> we that, need to talk. That's to That's where I was going to start hopping in and jumping. I I, I probably tweeted this a hundred times because I don't have great original material, but I've said it like. The best part about being a parent isn't like seeing the wonder through a child's eyes or the holidays <laughs> or your family. Overrated. It's having goldfish on you at all times. <laughs> it's, the house is always stocked with goldfish. There's goldfish in the diaper bag. So when you're out at the museum or something, you're like, uh, honey, can I have some goldfish? It's just great always having goldfish on you. So, uh, as, and again, when you say goldfish default, cheddared goldfish is is the standard. Yes. And it's a uh, American staple. I and I feel like I don't know if this is the case, but I feel like people they kind of mature out of goldfish over time. They'll go to the other snacks we're gonna draft. It's almost like with peanut butter and jelly, people stop eating PB and J oh, or grilled fuck cheese. That. And I think it's terrible. I think mm. goldfish normalized goldfish for all ages, yeah, just I, like PB and J. I think that's true because I don't I I don't can't remember the last time I bought them for myself, but I was home for Easter and I got the two little nephews. There you go. I housed goldfish <laughs> this weekend. So dangerous. Dang, yeah. And it's it's one of those snacks where you take a handful and it, they don't really fill you up, so you just keep on going. Yep. So, I, I they're just not that good, though. Ooh. Thank you. They're I just think not they're that good. good. Thank you. <laughs> they're not. They're a staple. That's it's it's your it's your house. You know what Thank I mean? It, it may not be mom's mom may not be the five star chef, but she makes it. It tastes good food. It's you know got what I mean? it's got the name recognition. Yes. Are all we, that comes in a fucking milk jug. Even like yeah. I, oh, the there's so many so things good. to like about goldfish, but they're just. They're did that did we just have a best versus your favorite discussion here, in round one? Maybe. We, yeah. We absolutely did. It's been a long standing theme in this office. But I don't even know. If, well, yeah. well, speak. You were. You didn't say anything. It's because I know I'm going to get shit on by all of you guys and everybody listening. I've been on the record a billion times. I fucking hate goldfish in any iteration of it. I can't stand them. I think they're disgusting. They're a seven point something. I I'd think say. they're inedible. Well, they're inedible. I, I, wow. I shouldn't go that far. It's not like I'm puking if I eat them. But like, if I'm offered them, I'd just be like, no, thank you. Any that, fake cheese shit like that, I'm out on. Nah, there's a lot of fake cheese shit on my big the board. The cheese here just too. doesn't hit. It's a subtle. Well, there's other flavor. If you want more cheese, there's other ways Correct. to go about it. We'll just leave Correct. it at that. Have I you had them? I put cheese on fucking. I everything. mean, what a futile exercise here to poke holes in in goldfish. Like I understand the goldfish. popularity, and I'm in the I'm I, in the extreme minority on that. I just can't. I do not like that. I but let's think be honest. This is the club. most vilified a first overall pick has been in no. like ages. Let, put it this way, Clem. Oh. By the way, corn on the cob was a good fucking pick. I has it has Thank to you. be said all these years later. Thank you, Clem. Th- that was the that was the best side. That is summertime sides. Thank and you. All the barata stuff. Everyone was shitting on the corn I know. on the cob. Everyone loves it. Just to bring came in my up. head naturally there. By Thank the way. you. I've no, but for real, everyone likes it. He wasn't in part of the council meeting beforehand. <laughs> no, everyone council everyone brings it up, people. but it's like it's the best side. I was happy to get the best. thing. I know when this draft comes out, people are going to go when they look at the board. They're going to go where are the goldfish at. Yep. And so no, I gotta, it's not going to go against you at all. But no, I'm just saying, well, like, from a talking point, like, hey, let's expand on this. Goldfish aren't that good. No, yeah, 100%. Yeah. But like I said, there's other snacks that are better, but for purposes of, like, a first round, it stands alone. It's a good fucking snack. Sure, yeah. It's got 
your entire life, you, it's one of the first things you start snacking on as a human being is goldfish. Mm -hmm. where, like you're just, it's with you your whole life. Back to the back to the sandwich argument, where I feel like P, was PB and J early? Or did you guys yeah, go? He took it like I got, fourth yeah, overall. I got PB yeah. and J. I it's the same kind of thinking because yeah, it's fourth. just that it's it's a staple. It's an American staple. Yeah. Have you had them since they had like the eyes and the dimples on them? Because they no. do taste a little better do with they? that new texture. I think so. Dave? I mean, I'd be willing to try them, but like anything, like I said, I just. But like, I, let me I'm put out. it this way for you, Clem. Of all like the, oh, wow, like I miss those snacks like that your kids eat. Mm -hmm. Like. Goldfish don't get you excited anymore. You're looking for the. Uh, oh yeah, the it's, it's not. It wasn't you know top first. It wasn't a first round grade on here in terms mm -hmm. of like just food, but it is for yeah, brand I, It just makes you so happy seeing them, and yeah. I'll, I'll house them whenever. Mm -hmm. It's to the point like she said. I'm like I have to check myself. Like if I dip my hand in that bag, it's going back in a few times, and then the kids have nothing to eat, and that's when shit really hits the fan. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So cheddar, Fine pick. cheddar goldfish Thank off you. the board. Thank you. Uh, number one overall. Uh, it's to me, it's it's tough, but I'm gonna go with combos, the original cheddar cheese combos. Um, wrapping? Hell yeah! Yeah. What do you mean wrapping? Tom's over there. We have two kinds of wrapping. We have pretzel. We have yeah, yeah, yeah. cracker. So the the, the okay. original. I looked it up. The original is cheddar cheese with the pretzel wrapping. Okay. Yes. Love Fair the enough. combo. Hate mm -hmm. the pick. Why? There's 75 fucking combos. Ed. There's plenty that compete with cheddar. It's a good one. It's very good. I like it. I have combo graded in the second round for my board. I like combo, but it's just like if we're going to have combo in the first round, I mean, who's to stop us having all the different combo flavors are electric, but it's a great pick. And it's a, it's to me is an all time gas station stack. We could do like a combos draft. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I understand that there's a lot of them, but you, when you think of the bag, you think of the, you think of the orange one. So I'm that is the OG, right? Yeah. To my yeah. knowledge. As far I'll, as I'll, I'll read up on it, but no, again, it's a great pick. It's just like first round. There's Dave could come into the fifth round and have just as good of a competition with combo in the first round here. That's my only. Maybe it, I'll do it, that. As the snack itself, <laughs> I love the strategy. Is where I'm like, ooh, I, I understand, I understand. But um, when you look at that, like we said, when you think of the hooks, the those combos are always. And they have their own designated echelon. section too. Yeah, they do. What'd you call that? The the peg it's the pegboard yeah pegboard yep. yeah. pegboard peg yeah. yeah yeah uh so I, I guess it's a cheddar cheese pretzel is what's the um is the one I'm taking let it's me repeat a, amazing amazing product it's a fair con though it's yeah. a fair but like I something got in my head late there I'll I'll talk about it later but there's a lot of things going on here and, and uh, you don't like these either no. <laughs> I he just doesn't like, like fake cheese. He's not a fake cheese guy. I, I I mean combos are fine. I don't know if I've ever one time gone to a gas station and walked out with a bag of combos. Uh, I'm in the same boat. I would say combos is I feel like gas stations like eighty percent of their business. Because you're at the grocery store, there's so many other things yeah. to choose from. But yeah. and I love combos are that's one of my go to's whenever I do when I did the road trip, when you guys did the road trip uh, draft with Trent. Um one of the best drafts, by the way. That was fucking fantastic. Uh, whoever draft combos, I'm like, that's the winner right there. I was sold on. And yeah. if it wasn't 8 a.m., like you give him a look at the airport, like you yeah, know, like it's. Well, how about one of the great single serving snacks versus like bigger packaging? Like they yes. have a fucking, they just run away train in the single serving, but they probably don't do as well with the family share size. Yeah, that's, that's a probably fact. a good. Point. That that's, a, that's a fact. Do you think the people that at combos are sitting around like, how do we get into the next level? How do we get into that milk carton size <laughs> yeah, that share. goldfish has? Yeah. And then when you pull out the 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 pretzelless one and it's just straight cheese and you're like, oh boy, we're going to fucking Jupiter right now. Did you suck? Did you try to suck the cheese out? Do you have like a game you play? No, I don't want. I, like, I, I I don't want to do that. I'd like to have the combo. I like to you know the names on the bag for a reason. But sometimes you just get that cheesy. Like, oh boy, we're going hardcore right now. <laughs> Um, so yeah, combos, cheddar cheese, pretzel. Um, Got to get a combo on my board, so that's my pick. Climb me up. All right. Um, it's always so tough because if, if if I miss this one coming back, so I'm just gonna have to take it here. I I have it one one on my board. Cheese it's just your 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 cheese it's right there. Uh, I, I imagine Dave doesn't like fake cheese in terms of the cheese it's. I absolutely. It's the perfect sharpness perfect taste of cheese it's like talk about housing a box i mean these things I, I i can't go near them so wifey brings them home 
and then she sees him in the garage by the end of the night. That's kind of how it goes. This is one of those things that I it, it would have been my pick. I was hoping you would go something else because then I would I have something I would have taken that I get it because Dave won't take this. You exactly. Would, you wouldn't take it. So I was really hoping you wouldn't get it, but. I don't know what my body fat percentage is. I owe a significant <laughs> chunk of that is just residual from cheeses because yes. I've, I've housed so many of those in my life. Dave, great. White Sox, Dave. Take everything I said about goldfish, <laughs> apply it to Cheez-Its. I am out. I think Cheez-Its are better than goldfish. Yeah, I, I think, think Cheez-Its like are the king of the cracker I think game. they're. I think they're very similar. Yeah. I think they're narrowly better, but I agree with you. I don't love Cheez-Its either. I don't, or at I don't, least the original Cheez-It. I think they're saltier, and I think they're cheesier than goldfish, and I think that's why I like them more personally, those mm -hmm. two factors. They um, are. They are. I think you're right. Right, and I, I think, think they got a little tang to them. Yeah, they have yeah, a little tang. Yeah. Then that tang is what keeps you coming. They, some yeah. flavor scientist 30 years ago figured out the perfect fucking molecular, molecular yeah. thing, mm -hmm. and they got you hooked like a they motherfucker. They got it. It's a first rounder, though. For I sure. Mean, that's oh, it definitely is. Every, like time. This is just me being a total weirdo. Yeah. When I when I had when I chose pick three, I didn't think it would get to me at three, so I'm I'm thrilled it did. But uh, the what I have at two that didn't get taken, I'm praying to God it makes it back. It makes now. the wrap yeah, around. That's all I'm going to think about for the next twenty minutes. Well, all right, uh, you're in a good spot, I'd say, with the two guys who are drafting <laughs> behind you. So yeah. chief, you're up. I got a feeling I'm going to get smashed for this one on the internet, but <laughs> this is like the original snack food. Taking peanuts, just taking salted uh, roasted I peanuts. I fucking love it. Yeah, so, so salted peanuts. Salted peanuts. Yeah, I, like, I could eat mountains of salted peanuts. <laughs> they're good at home. They're good at the ballpark. They're good. You know, there's nothing like uh, having a bag of peanuts at the at a baseball game too. You're, is there, is are you that sweeping like, up the shells. Yeah, are the we talking shells home? with the peanuts? Or are you going straight? You're, home, uh, you're uh, home with a shelled peanut. No, 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 no. I was gonna say that's no, but like you're not getting you're not getting no, non-shelled peanuts at a baseball game. Right. Are you are you getting shelled or not shelled? Do I have, I have to specify? Oh yeah, I think so. Oh wow, I think so. I fucking hate this panel. <laughs> oh, I hate this panel. <laughs> I think you do. Uh, I mean, they asked me plain or cheddar goldfish. At least tell me what bag you're buying it. So not not to divert here, but I actually looked it up. the The non cheddar ones are not the original. The plain ones are the original. Really, according to the Pepperidge Farms website. So, Interesting. so we all had that backwards, but it doesn't matter because the cheddars are the best. How goldfish survive long enough to make it to the cheddar <laughs> with those shitty crackers <laughs> as their lead uh, brand? I fucking hate you people, though. Like, I, I don't think I should have to choose. It's just like a casing. <laughs> it's a different experience. I, I it's, it's a different, different experience. It is different. It's. The, but the, the, I, this I also me, think if you do so, say you take the mm -hmm. shelled peanuts. If you draft in like bottled peanuts, I think you're a fucking loser. And then. Well, I, I mean, think you should avoid that. But still like on I, the butt, I definitely, but like this is where it's tough. Like, should like to me, it's just it's like a natural packaging. So like, do I, does he just have to have a box of cheeses just laying around on the floor? No, it comes in a box the way a peanut comes in a shell. You drafted the milk carton version of the yeah. uh, goldfish, <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah, and I feel like this is just no, it's, there's a, it's just a shell. I mean, you, a you got ballpark I'm, peanuts. Uh, you got but I'm not eating. Peanuts. I'm not eating the shell. It's but just she, like yeah, but there's a difference between shoving your hand in there and going straight up versus like do do do. You know what I mean? Sure, but versus it doesn't change yeah. what the item is. It doesn't I, change what the item is. I don't know. It doesn't, some people you like. The, some people eat the whole peanut. They're savages. Okay, but those people should be in jail. I I, I, I have. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. People like yeah. do it as chimpanzee a dare. over here. He's doing the full. Like, people no. dare me to do or have dared me to do it or like, hey, eat the whole thing. And it doesn't to me. Whatever. To me, this is just. It's having the shell on the peanut is just like the. It's just like unwrapping a candy bar. How you often know? you get dared to eat a full peanut, Dave? I've eaten the shells before. I, there's that's not that crazy of a thing. No, I don't do it regularly, but no. I have done it, and it's like not that nasty or anything. But do you understand my yes my argument about it's just you oh, shifted me thank you so all right, you're then, still eating the same then, thing all right then you if you're drafting salted peanuts and mm -hmm. ken jack which picture would you want me to put on there mm. i think that's a way to make your decision so peanuts you. are all gone now like a shell i, peanut I don't think game? so peanut a ball game of course they're all gone <laughs> I know it. what are you talking about i don't i don't if think you're so. taking planners peanuts out of a can you can't tell me that peanuts at a ballpark are off the table now are you taking planners or fisher peanuts yeah, that's see. Like, <laughs> I'm just fucking with Chief. Chief, you don't have to. I don't think you should have to describe. You, you were fucking with it too. <laughs> I'm taking peanuts, but yeah. it's not all right. Then next time we have a, some kind of candy thing, I'm gonna be like Ed. You have to eat the fucking wrapper because that's what you're basically telling me I have to do. I have to unwrap my peanut. I'm gonna eat the same I'm just essential saying, piece. It's a different experience, man. 
That's all I'm saying. A peanut guy would say the same thing. A peanut, if I'm in the business of peanuts, I'm coming. Mm. I'm saying we do a couple different peanuts. We got peanuts and candy bars. Yeah, we got like, fucking peanuts in it. We got peanuts in a, in a planter's jar. Boiled got, peanuts is a thing, right? Boiled peanuts. Yeah. Are we talking boiled peanuts? We are oh, not talking. Peanuts I've never. Is a great I, point, I don't think I've had a boiled peanut before, so I can't comment. Nah, it's a risky it. draft I want pick. you to have peanuts. I just want you I'm to have taking, the peanut you have. I'm taking peanuts. I'm taking salted, roasted peanuts. Like I don't. I, like I'm not gonna be. Bullied. I don't know that. I think roasted is something else. Yeah. Okay. I'm taking peanuts. I guess they're not roasted. Because I understand what that is. Like, you shell them, you roast them. Yeah. Right? So that's fine. I'm taking salted peanuts because that's what it is. That's what I'm eating, regardless of what packaging it comes in. I'm eating salted peanuts. All right. Salted peanuts. You salted assholes. Salted peanuts off the board. Do you like getting the skins on them? Like, when they're already shelled? I, I don't mind it. Yeah, I yeah. kind of like it. It's, like it's a nice it, little... Yeah. I don't like I it guess I just want to know, when tongue. you reach for a peanut, has it been cracked or not? It depends on where I am. Like if I'm at home, I'm probably I'm not sitting there shell having peanut shells all over the couch. I'm just see having, that's a good experience. Will I you think shell one peanuts? is better than the other. Will you shell honest. peanuts at a movie theater? No, you, that's that's, that's scumbag. Yeah. Psychotic yeah. behavior. Yeah, the only place you do that is at a is at a ball game or at like a um, Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse or mm. what's the our lodge or the lodge? Yeah, Five Guys has them. Five I don't guys. think you throw on the ground Five, though. Yeah, so they have. Them in the yeah, you do. All right, salted peanuts. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. You guys never I didn't make see it. That you coming. never make it easy. <laughs> no, we try. I mean, we're really trying here. Yeah. Play so, what do you want on the graphic, though? I think that does like Ken Jack. Uh, are you mix. just going to leave Ken Jack on a mix of them? I want both. I you hope he just takes the most oh. generic picture of salted peanuts, just in a like a like no brand, like n not picking a brand or just a bag like a white hurts. bag. Yes, <laughs> or just like you know what I mean, like just Mr. Peanut. Yeah. Or, yeah. Mr. Oh, Peanut. like the Whole Foods yeah, when like, they have like the nut yes. aisle and you're just going with the clear yes. plastic bag. I hope that's what you get because that's going to hurt you. That's and fine. it's your fault. I don't care. I told you the John it's Daly factor on this draft was through the roof. Exactly. It was a 10 out of 10 on John Daly. It's just going to be a bowl of peanuts, and that's all right. White Sox, Dave. All right, so when you texted the group last night, you said salty snacks. You didn't specify that you needed to get them from a gas station yet, correct? Uh, this is actually interesting because this does change the draft. Big time, big time, big time. I didn't specify, but you know what I meant. We, you know, I didn't know what you meant. You said salty snacks. I'm like, okay, what do I well, eat that's really Norton, salty? Every Norton, everyone else knew, but continue. <laughs> I don't think they did because I think this could go a whole different variety of ways, but I'll, I'll get to that later on on my draft board. I'm just going with trail mix. Okay. Okay. See, that's, see, that's a situation where – it's like, yeah, there's a little chocolate, there's a little little raisin. I still think this applies. I, I think it plays. Yeah. 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 Trail mix has to. Oh, Trail mix is the first thing to, to hit the pantry when you're like, I got I to gotta lose some weight, get some shape. I, I got to get a good snack. I just house. tried to do the same thing because I'm doing keto now. Because I quick peek into my day yesterday. I had a tomahawk steak at about 4 p.m. for <laughs> Easter. Do the cross thing. And then at like 10 o'clock, I was fucking craving some ice cream. I ate an entire pint of Jenny's ice cream. Jenny's and is I, great. What flavor? Soft, uh, chocolate, soft. salted, actually salted chocolate flex or something. Oh, okay. I ch it's something flex. It's got a little peanut butter in there, Yeah, right? it's got some oh, peanut yeah. butter. It was delicious, I but I planned on just having, you know, half of it and putting it away. Yeah, I didn't even put it down. You got it. Well, see. So I'm doing keto now. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a keto? That's how we got back to trail mix? That's how we, well, so I get here and it's just nothing but like garbage food for us on the snack shelf we have. And I'm like, oh, trail mix, that's healthy. I look at the thing, just nothing but carbs in it. Yeah, it's not very, it's not yeah. good. It's not good. So, so I, I had you, the same I bet you idea peanuts you would do. be healthier than that. There are peanuts in it. And seeds and that's but enough. No more. You gotta yeah, watch yeah. out with that dried fruit, though. Sugar. I'm mm. a key. I'm an ex keto guy. That's a problem. Yeah, you gotta. Uh, you gotta no, like raisins. You gotta be worried for raisins. Well, oh you know, yeah, yeah. Like those like, that'll knock you right out of ketosis, baby. Like this is science, shit, Carl. We're talking science here now. Okay. Those are super. Sugar. I don't know enough about ketosis. I just know that like if you're counting stuff and you get to the raisins and you're like, oh, yeah. how about these. That's how. That's how it oh, makes no raisins. sense. You, you could eat a thousand pieces of bacon, you're fine. But the yeah. minute you eat like six raisins, you're fucked. Because it, it kicks in some thing in your body that like right. You're yeah. keeping some stuff. Fat for fuel as opposed okay. to yep. sugar for fuel. Uh, trail mix. I like trail mix, but it's one of those things I'll never buy. I, yeah, if I see that's it somewhere, the only I'll thing I'll buy out of that. Oh, aisle. really? Yeah. I'll never buy it. If I'm dieting, I'll do it. I think people that make their and own trail mix are psychopaths. Oh, yeah. The guy who's like, well, I get my own this. I get my own nuts. I get my own raisins. I get my own spread. Mix it up. I mix it up in a big bowl, and then I put it. But it's it. very good. <laughs> put it in little plastic bags. 
Like yeah. if I see it, I'll hammer it, you know. But all right, trail mix, White Sox Dave. Next, this is probably the closest I would get to purchasing anything else from that aisle: chocolate covered pretzels. Yeah, that that was what I was wondering. You don't think it should be a lot? On what planet? Chocolate's like <laughs> nothing but salt, anyways. It's a sweet I and think. salty snack. It's not a. It's it. Wait, chocolate's nothing but salt, or pretzels are nothing but salt? I think there's a ton of salt in chocolate. I I don't know. How I, I, I could be way so. wrong. I, I might have you, just made that up. But <laughs> like sugar. Yeah, yeah I know. It's don't sugar. you have this take that chocolate isn't candy? No, chief. Oh God! Are we going back to yeah. the thing with the Skittles and the Fruit Loops? Yes. Again? All right, never mind. Yeah. No, I'm he not, says I'm so it. chocolate's not sweet. Is what he says. I think oh, right, chocolate yeah. is a dumbed down version of sweet. Just like spicy, there's very like you can have insanely spicy hot wings or like pretty <laughs> spicy hot wings. Huh. That counts for sweet stuff too. Can like I tell for, you? So I don't have the energy for this. I, well, <laughs> you guys brought it up. So this was, I think, when the word chocolate was thrown, or chocolate covered, I think we are all thinking, all right, your pretzel's going to get drafted. Chocolate yeah. covered pretzels. Correct, correct. This is exactly what I thought it would be. Yeah. Um, that is the same aisle, too, oddly enough. And you know how people yeah. went there with the best intentions to get the trail mix, and then those fucking chocolate covered pretzels just yeah. see the flips. <laughs> yep. the flips <laughs> like, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm mm-hmm. just going to have a few, and then you eat the whole bit. Uh, I would be okay, just because... The saltiness is a factor into it. Are we specifying which ones? Like yeah, I mean, on trail still, mix, is like dip rod still raisins. on the board? The dip rod's yeah, yeah. still on the board. I'm, yeah, I'm like, 100% on this. He's a crazy person if he doesn't take the brand that we just talked about. But Yeah, I don't know the board. brands. I I just know that. It would be an easy Google. Rewind the tape. It would be an easy Google. Google. <laughs> uh, that, that name's gone. What? Chocolate-covered <clears throat> pretzels. I mean, I could make my own chocolate-covered pretzels. No. Hmm? White Sox Dave's you homemade get a bag chocolate of, covered a bag pretzels. Of six overall. Pretzels. Yeah. You melt chocolate. Do you, you be, throw the pretzels in the melted drizzle? chocolate? You're not out of the woods, though. You might veto. I no, I'm not. I don't love it, but I'm not going to veto. I don't love it, but. Anybody else? Veto? You, this is my thoughts on it. If we do a trilogy here of snack drafts, right? And then the next one is this cookie draft or whatever it may be. At some point, the chocolate covered pretzel has to be drafted. It didn't get drafted in the chip draft because it probably yeah. didn't fit, right? And I would so say it's either it here or then this the cookie that. draft. Yeah. I would say it leans more into this and that, personally. I disagree. Really? I don't know. I mean, it's definitely more in this than a cookie draft. Is that what we were debating? Or but chips. when we say cookie draft, is it a cookie? It's now definitely this not. This is so new. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I'm so sorry to everybody who's listening to this and furious with me right now. But I don't think that a, a, it shouldn't be a cookie draft. It should be like... A non candy sweet draft. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah. And like then this is the non chip like salty way draft. Way too specific, though. Well, but we've also had many things get drafted in more than one draft. <laughs> so this could just be another one of those where it, gets, it's, it fits into both drafts. So you just draft it twice. And the thing is, is I don't even really like pretzels. <laughs> it's just a chocolate. So if you guys want to veto it, you can veto it. No, no, you got no. It. no you he's got, got it. it. It's chocolate a fucking great pretzels. snack. You got it. It's yeah. a great yeah. snack. I wish you would take the brand, but. That is what it is. So, you know what? Uh, I, I actually had Pepperidge these. Farms. No, Dave, that's not Pepperidge Farms. I had these last week, and I had a reminder of if you ever seen the mall rat scene. Do you guys watch? You know, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh no, 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 think no, palms it? them. Oh, and it kind of made me sick. Like Would I got like sick eating the chocolate covered pretzel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, salted peanuts. Back to you, pal. What was taking this? Chief. I'm taking pistachios. Oh, you. So, that ooh. Would have been, so I love them. So I love pistachios. Um, I so again, <laughs> Tom. What did, he, what, what, did he, Tom? what did he say? Shelter on So yeah. to me, I, to me, I think I get both. I make a vow to myself whenever I'm like in the mood for pistachios to get the shelled version because it has built in portion control yes. because you have to take the extra effort to like open it up and eat them as opposed to just taking a handful and shoving it in your mouth. So that's why I do the, uh, I, I think they're the same, but I just as like a trying to guard against like gorging and being extra fat, I will, I will get the shell. Ah, that's, that's good fat though. I feel like. I have no idea. I mean, like, eventually, at some there are good fats and bad fats and good calories and bad, bad calories. But if I'm eating nuts are two, weird. Some are good. Yeah. Some are. I don't know. I don't know where pistachios yeah. fall in, but they are delicious. I will offer one criticism of my own pick here. Thank you. If 
you get a bad pistachio. It tastes like dog shit. Oh, it is the, murder the, pistachio. The, yeah, yes. that is. I call I call them dead. Like I got a dead one. <laughs> oh, dead. They're, yeah. It's like one of the worst experiences you can have as a. And then sometimes you don't. They're not like. I don't know. They don't come pre-cracked, obviously, no. but naturally open enough where you can't get your nails in there, well, and you, you're trying to fight. With Dave, straight Dave, garbage. Dave, I don't even fuck with those. Dave, oh, you guys, this is this is like you got to be a, an ape to not do this. But you just take one of the shells you've already used and use it as a tool to pry open. It goes open like that. That easy, huh? Oh, that easy. It's just a little lever that fits in there perfectly. It's, I mean, that's how you do it. I want to know about more about these dead pistachios. I feel like there's something really rotten in it. Like I don't know what it is. They're so gross. I it's think like it's probably a bug over ripe or something. Yeah. I don't know. They are disgust. Like you want to puke and you want to spit it out. It's gross. But uh, when you, the good ones are, what's the old like? Um, who's your New York guy? Um, the, the radio guy when it's Francesa? like yeah yeah, yeah. yeah like, it's like a good pistachio uh, yeah a good pistachio the, when his pistachio is good it's great yeah but when exactly. it's bad it's awful yeah it's terrible right. back after this yeah <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> thank you thank and like you. <laughs> nothing there's no feeling like after a, a round of pistachios where you're fucking like thumbs are like you can feel the pulse in them because yep. you just <laughs> tore them to shit work. and yeah. like you said portion control is absolutely perfect yep. um and Ta getting back to the parenting thing we said with the goldfish, I introduced my daughter to pistachios for the first time, and she ate one, and she's like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> it, like, yeah, like I could see, like it was like the first time to someone that's cracked. Where she's like, "This," and then she ate like a thousand of them. And I remember being young, having pistachios with my dad for the first time, and it was like one of those cool fucking moments. I was like, "Holy shit!" Like this pistachios are good. so fucking good. I and I I've never done the shelled ver the already shelled version because mm -hmm. I just can't see a scenario where I don't eat the entire. They're, they're like cracked. They're that's the most exactly what addicting happens. thing I think yep. in the world. I respect this, but I never knew that eating pistachios with your kid was like going to the ballpark for the first. Apparently, time. it is. <laughs> I didn't know it either. And it was in like, the Clem household. Yeah, it's a generational yeah. thing. Like I let her scoop it into the bag. Like these are this is Stu Leonard's. We're not just getting oh, the pre or okay. anything. It was like all a right, big deal. Right, it was a big right, deal right, in the right. house. That makes sense. Son. It's a it's a pitch to pitch to clean up. Like you have to keep all the shells together. You that's have one to thing have that's a, a separate like little mini dish for yeah. your yeah. There should be a case study though. Where like what does more damage to your fingers? Like people who knit or people who just slam pistachios. You hmm. know. I, I, don't have, I, don't I don't even have know any knitting. Experience. I don't even know if knitting does bad. I don't, you know, but something. I, yeah. some I can see like a Daily Mail article. It's like this guy, uh, you know, look at his hands after thirty-five yes. straight years of eating pistachios. They're all, all just like life. cracked yeah. and yeah. salty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, pistachios off the board. Uh, any concern about going nut nut? One two. I'm taking what's on the top of my board. Best player available. All right. Barada. What do you think of that? I I mean I love his first two picks. Okay, climb your up. Uh, so this one I was hoping it was going to get back to me. Didn't know if it would. Um, I think I brought it up in the chip draft. <sighs> You're going to do it. Pirate's booty. Oh, Ooh, yeah. that was on my list. Okay. So, um, yeah, there was another couple that I mentioned or that didn't get drafted, but Pirate's booty. What flavor? White cheddar? White cheddar, yep. Is there is there other flavors of Pirate's booty? I think so. I don't I know would if I've imagine. seen them. I, there should be if there aren't because it's fucking awesome. But you want to talk about stuff that you can get dangerous. Um and that's another one with the kids. You always have it, and they have like the little, the little small bags. And it's like, all right, we're gonna do one small bag, and the daddy's putting these down because they are dangerous. Um, you can get so a bag light, on so Amazon yeah. for three dollars and thirteen cents. There you go. And there's, yeah, like you said, it feels like you're just eating nothing. So it's like, oh, I could eat like ten of these. I feel like Portnoy was on a big pirate's booty kick, and he's like, he had a, like a, a running gag about how it was like, you know, air you're basically eating. So good. The Love texture is just unbelievable. Oh, great. you took the words right out of me. You know, the texture is just. They nailed it. Because you could suck on it, soften it up. You could chew right away, get the crunch, play around with it. I mean, there's a couple different ways in how you yes. feel. Like an Oreo. Like, you know, do you bite right in? Do you split it open? Maybe not that type of flexibility, but it's up there. Yeah. And the dude who did body armor, he was big at Pirate's Booty. I think he helped, like, blow it up. I forgot the guy's name. He was, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think he was bigger. And it does. they've kind of marketed it as it's, like, a healthier version, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, of yep. snacking. So I think it's made out of rice or something. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, so it's like a, it's like or corn. It might be a corn. Corn or rice. I thought it was rice, but I, I could be wrong. But, yeah, I think that is. That That's is, a good pick, dude. Yeah, it is a good pick. I, I, was that the one that you were worried it was going to get yeah, back? Yeah, yeah. Now I'm worried about another one after the, your reaction to it. I thought you were gonna take. Uh, I thought you were gonna take. Well, I'm gonna take this next. I, you, I think you'll like it. I think you will. You two will definitely not like it. Puffed but. rice and corn snack. There Ooh. you go. So we're both right. super team. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna go Gardettos. Yeah. <laughs> Big Gardetto guy. Is that the bagel chips? Kind no, of that's thing? the one with the rye. 
you know the yeah the uh, rye. That's what the I mean. rye. It's got the breadstick. Yeah. It's got the pretzel. It's, it's a got, very fancy version of another mix. popular snack. Yeah, it's, it's very fancy, and it's better than that it's one fancy. by far. Yes, yes. Snack, it's a it's a great vending machine snack. I, I don't know if you Huge can get I don't know if you get Gordados otherwise. It's just no, you can only, get it at the gas station. Sure, sure, sure. I'm yeah. just saying, like it's predominantly. You can get it at the grocery store too. Uh, but yeah, it's a big vending machine snack. It's mixing it up a little bit when you're not feeling chips. Like this is a salty snack that I think is uh, is very strong. Um, I, I don't like it. Gar- I, I I knew you would. Yeah. I knew you would. Yeah. It's got that Italian seasoning. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you see, I just used his hands good. to talk. <laughs> I just did that TikTok. I just did that TikTok. Uh, to me, it's like when you think of this aisle, Combos or Gardettos are like two of the first things you think mm-hmm. of, so I'm happy to get it, even Big though if the uh, panel doesn't like it. I know they have a good following, a good fan base for these two. So it's like the uh, chips you got, um, the voodoo chips. Yeah, right? I feel like the Gardetto yeah. crowd will yep. be heard yeah. during this. Uh, I'm not worried vote. about the bad reaction in the room because I think I think Gardettos have a good following. Uh, Were you nervous I was going to take Gardetto? I was. I thought you liked these. I'm I, surprised I, you don't. I do like a Gardetto. They're not um, fancy though. I don't know why. I wouldn't say they're they feel, fancy. They feel fancy. It's, it's fancy it, name. Fancy, it's fancy name. name. It's a name yeah. you have to know how to pronounce. The packaging, yeah. It's but, like uh, one of those things you recognize, but you don't know the name for it. And I think that's like yep. a classic fancy thing. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm happy to get Gargano. I was debating getting the two overall, so I'm happy I didn't. Uh, Love your combo pick, and uh, and I was particularly critical about it because I want a combo very bad in the spot. Very mm-hmm. bad I want a combo. Well, you're up. What are you going to pivot to? Uh, I'm going to take movie theater popcorn. I'm surprised popcorn's still on the board here. I'm taking like the classic. That's exactly what it that was. <clears throat> that was my exact mm-hmm. question to Ed. You said chip aisle or not chip aisle, but popcorn well, is a s- salty snack. Of course. Yeah, that's, for sure. that's what I asked you. That's what I was getting at earlier. Yeah. Mo- movie theater popcorn, specifically movie theater popcorn, not mm-hmm. the popcorn you microwave at home. I'm talking about you're at the movie theater. I have a buddy who goes, buys a ticket to shows, gets popcorn and leaves. He can't get in to get the popcorn without the ticket? Is that no, no, why? no. He like wants to eat the popcorn at home. Yeah, I, I respect that move. But does that, he, I don't think but you, do you have to, to though? Right? You wouldn't need to do that. He'll go and be like, yeah, I'm going to see this movie and then go get the... You don't what? have to buy a ticket though. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. You could just Does he walk. still buy the ticket just for Okay, the, I got a buddy who goes to movie theaters, drives to movie theaters, gets movie theater popcorn, and then drives right home with the it. I would yeah. assume that it would take a ticket to get in there, but if oh. it doesn't take a ticket to get in there, then he's... Okay. Yeah. Um, no, it's a great In pick. any event, it's surprised that you can not You can only get this popcorn at movie theaters. Whoever manufactures and is charged of this popcorn, it only exists at movie theaters. Mm. What about I got people who major would... gripes with that right now. Why do you have gripes with me? I mean, listen, I don't I disagree. I for a clarification. That was number one on my big board. I, dude, if I would have if I would have thought the draft would have went that way too, it would have been higher on mine too. So it's not like. Well, that opens it up. I think, veto his ass. I'm not vetoing it because it was number one on my board. Do it. I think it's like do a, it. If you got a problem, do it. I'm vetoing you. Why? why? Can you do that? You texted us salty snacks. Is popcorn that, a salty snack? Absolutely. Then it's on I'm the board. I'm bitching at Ed. No, I'm not. I'm not. But, what, but if what everyone else, if, have if everyone me? else agrees that it's. Like we all I, are on the same I page. I asked for a clarification. You, Ed said the best way to describe this is when you walk down the aisle at a gas station, and I said, "Okay, but there's other ways." And you're like, "Oh, everybody else got it other than you, Dave." I'm like, "Okay, well, I'll take that off the board." That's what you said. So when you said that, Dave, I was 99 percent sure you were taking movie. You're talking about yes. movie theater popcorn. My wife brought it up to me last night. I told her the the thing, and she said, "I said, holy shit, that's a great one." And I just didn't have the balls to pull it, the trigger there because I didn't know if anyone else would, was thinking it other than you. I think that's the like prototypical salty snack. Yeah. So now we've we've now ventured into a new world. Now. Yeah, it's, we it's are a, now it's in a, a sandbox. Out, out of the idea I, for the draft. For I sure. hate defending Red Ed, but the text went out: non-chip salty snack. It and then I asked be. for a clarification when he said the gas station thing to start the show today. That's, that's, but that would that's be an example. Was. That's, you should have drafted it, though, because now I'm pissed I didn't draft it. And now I'm pissed you it's didn't draft it. Yeah, I mean, I didn't thing. think I would be able to. But that, to me, is crazy. Regardless, I have movie theater popcorn, 10th overall, second round. It's a good pick. I like movie theater popcorn. Um, what do you guys, where do you guys stand on butter distribution? I always I say light on. butter because they always give you way too much. Yeah. And then it, I don't want to be swimming in it, but I want some butter. 
Um, the ca- the I think Hubs actually did the thing where you put the straw in if you do it yourself and you can fill it up from the bottom up is nice if you have to do it on your own. But I think a, a light butter. I will say this, the variance of movie theater qual- movie theater popcorn is high. You can get great popcorn at a theater and awful popcorn at the it's same true. theater depending on when you go. And yeah. will you dust it up with the, you know, you get the little ranch shaker here, you oh. get the movie theater, the gold dust that sits out by the napkins? Um, I'm very much just butter. I don't. I don't even think I throw salt on. I just go butter and a bunch of napkins. You know, I I got popcorn at the Blackhawks game the other night. I don't understand why stadiums can't do popcorn the way movie theaters do. It stinks at stadiums. It's it stinks. It's a wreck. Yeah, there's yeah. got to be something going on in there where it's like AMC has the right to the way that or whoever's in charge has the right I mean, to the way that kernel. Aren't is Aren't they struggling? Can't they license that out to? You know, different places and get it, get us good quality movie theater popcorn inside of a stadium. That would be great. I feel like there was something I blogged about movie theater popcorn. They were doing something to try to like, because they were struggling during the pandemic. I bet Jeff D. Lowe probably knows the answer. Probably we should pick his brain They're when supposed we're done with to, this. It's supposed to become on like the delivery apps. That might be yeah, it, yeah. Like it's going to, they're going to start delivering. Do you it. think that'll, that'll work? Can no, you buy AMC it has to be popcorn? Like in the you microwave branded, it, yeah, you can. Yeah, like that's the con against it, if anything, is it has to be like piping fresh for it to be good. Yeah, yeah. But that's my go-to at the movie theaters every single time because yeah. I can get all these candies and stuff at you know home Anywhere. or whatever. Right. But hey. the movie theater it's, for me, it's cool. the don't sleep on the pretzel bites. Just saying, so, I can get pretzel bites other, but yeah, respect. Uh, Carl, you're up again. I have something with a first round grade on it that's still here. Whoa. Yeah. Um. And I, unfortunately, I don't want to go do battle with Clem, but I got to take white cheddar Cheez Its. Mm, all right, fair enough. White cheddar Cheez Its to me are better than the original Cheez I actually like these more, and I know there are people out there that identify with it. With white cheddar Cheez Its, uh, very addictive. Everything you're saying about the cheddar Cheez Its applies a little bit stronger for me with white cheddar Cheez Its. So, Definitely has some twang. Yes. Yeah. I, I like think these, these a are, lot more. Yeah, I, I do too. Yeah, I like these a lot more. I'll, I'll eat these if offered. I won't buy them, but I'll eat. I think the that's cheese and I hater think that's actually just, likes them. Wow, that's big. I think it's a popular sentiment that white cheddar Cheez Its are better, but people are afraid to speak up on it because the Cheez It people are so passionate. I I think it's the third best version of Cheez It. I'd say it's fair. Don't well, I can't say it, but I'm not saying the don't other give it important. That's the best time. thing is don't, you can you can start don't. firing off takes here, and no one can come back until after it's over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he was just fucking. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to take the other one. But I think there is one that's better. I will say this about the white cheddar cheese. It, it's good enough that it makes the vending machine occasionally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you which know? is hard to do. It's hard to do. To that's crack hard that, to do. To crack that size. That's a good point, Club. Yeah. That's a very good point. Very happy with Goldfish, Movie Theater, Popcorn, White Cheddar Cheese. It's yeah. It's a good big three. I mean, movie Theater, Popcorn really kind of throws off the draft, though. I agree. I, I know what you're saying. I, know, I mean, it's technically it was allowed, but uh, it was your thinking of off the shelf. It just... It, Everybody slept on it, I guess. I, I I wasn't. That was number one on my big board, but it, it is what it is. You should have tried it. Uh, all right, Jesus. Next time gone. I will. Um, all right, it's back to me. Hey, real quick here, let's take your mind off of salty snacks for a second. I know those are great, but you know, you think salty snacks as well. You think of a road trip. You think about hopping in the car. And let me tell you, if you're hopping in the car this summer, if you're getting ready for a road trip, road trip, you got to make sure that your car is all tight, tuned up, and ready to go. Okay, whether that means the tires are good to go, rotated, that means if the brakes are fixed, the oil's changed, you got to make sure you're good. Okay, and the best way to do that is go to Chicago Land Chevy Dealers. Okay, so now's the perfect time to make sure your ride is running right. Uh, get all your service needs at your local Chevy dealer today. Um, also, if it's time to look if for a new car, look into Chevy. Look into make sure you're checking out that Blazer. Make sure you're checking out that Malibu. Check out the Camaro. Who knows? Get crazy. Get what you want to do. And uh, you never know. It might not be as crazy as you think. Just Chevy is there for you. That's uh, You can just go to ChevyDriveChicago.com to find your local dealer and place an order for your brand new custom Chevy today. Or uh, like I said, if you don't have a Chevy, just make sure you're going there to get everything tuned up and everything in the right order. Uh, the last thing you want to be is on the side of the road in a hot summer Chicago day or anywhere across America. And, you know, you see cars crawling past you because you didn't go to Chevy and make sure everything was in order. So go do that. ChevyDriveChicago.com. I'm going to take something that's kind of new age. Uh, we'll see if we'll see if you guys like it or not. I fucking love those. Uh, the pretzel crisps. The thin mm-hmm. ones, yep. In the blue bag, I mean, they. Blue I'm bag. Gonna, I'm gonna take the original. Salted. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the original. So the the brand is Snack Factory Pretzel Crisp. Great pick. Original. Great pick. Sometimes a little, you know, 
we we spent a lot of time talking about variants here, but like if you get a bag that's in the back mm. of the truck or something, like they can get a little crunch too much. But a good pretzel crisp holds the dip better than anybody. That was going to be my point. Mm-hmm. From hey. from the entry point to exit, strength, durability, tonsil strength. Is that what it's called? I think maybe I don't know, but I think that's a great pick because it is like if you're if you're at a place where they have like a Lay's and they have the pretzel crisp, but the the star of the show of the platter is the dip. You go with the pretzel mm-hmm. crisp. And I'm not a huge pretzel guy in general, like in the, in the in its pure in its original form. But these something about them is like crack. That's because it's just so thin, but it's yeah. so strong. It's it's crazy. It's, like yep. you'll just you'll see people dominate these if they're at a barbecue or something like that. And mm-hmm. they're coming like more popular. I feel like you see them more and more at these things. Not they're getting good either. distribution, or they get good uh, shelf space now. Yes, yeah. they get good shelf they're space. They're growing, and they're big bag. I, these are fucking dynamite. Like they'll put them at the head of the chip aisles when you're going down the chip aisle. You know, at the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it shares the aisles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, I think Costco they have a huge bag for like five bucks, and it's you know you get like f- half of those at the half the size at the grocery store. It's a it's like um an engineering marvel basically to have that <laughs> be that thin yet hold that much dip. We're talking like meat dips. You get like a buffalo oh, chicken yeah. dip. That thing's not, no problem. Nachos. You do, and I I don't know about you guys. I hate when there's shrapnel in the dip. Hate when oh, there's just tough. old chips in the yeah. dip. I don't even if it's a new dip. I don't even want to eat it anymore. Yeah. Something about like I think salsa is the worst for that. Yeah, just see it floating in there. It's like a soft chip. Wet. Yeah, I'm respectable. If I see I, I break a chip off, I'll get another one and I'll save it I and know. I save the whole dip. I would have assumed that about yeah. you. Thank you, yep. Dave. You're, you you're an upstanding citizen. <laughs> they do absolutely nothing for me. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. Like, I'm trying not to shit on everything because I know I'm the Here. outlier. I don't like them. I don't like them. Fair enough. Fair <clears throat> enough. Uh, you're up. Uh, Clum, you're up. Is this double pretzel for you? I think you've gone double pretzel here. Well, I, one's pretzel with cheese, yeah. so that's why I like it. There's a lot of pretzels in it. You just said you don't like pretzels because Gardetto's got pretzels, too. Wow, triple pretzel. That's, that's the worst part of the Gardetto, just to be clear, Okay, is the pretzel. So. I got a lot of ways I can go here again. Oh, man, all my picks. All right, we're going to go smart food because that was one of the mm. ones I mentioned in last time, and it's an absolute fucking – every time you see smart food, you're like, we have a great snack that will go very quickly here. Listen, third round for that is tremendous value. Yeah. Like tremendous. I don't even think People that. fucking love these. I don't, I, I'm fine not taking it because I don't love it. But people fucking love it. Oh, white cheddar? Yeah. Oh, oh this okay, was my yeah. number. This is I didn't know that it was called smart food. I yeah. didn't know that either. Oh yeah. It's so good. It's the the people at home, black bag, has like a little picture of like a popcorn or something yeah. on it. Dominates vending machines. It, it's yes. it's a great package too. Like the logo's awesome. Yes. It pops and you takes you there is something else about just dumping like the last little kernel shreds in your mouth, you just pour <laughs> it right in there. That just hits different than any other snack. It's, that could be a gift right there if we yeah. get the camera on that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dominates. <laughs> Wait, yeah, not good looking. But what about uh, any any uh, um, nerves about the fact that you have pirates booty back to back? I thought I, okay. I thought about that afterwards, but, but we're gonna let it. For roll. people who actually try the shit, they know they're very different. But yeah, you, you make a good point. Yeah. Bold flavoring, smart food, really bold, crisp, sharp cheddar flavoring. They like nail. That was another one. Whoever that flavor scientist nailed it when they fucking put it all together there. Uh, bad for the fingers, though. You do get doo doo fingers. Yeah, and they're sneaky fingers. too. I think you don't. At least while you're eating some other snacks, you're monitoring your finger texture. But like, this is when you get done with the bag and you go to pick up your phone and you're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, yeah. It's sneaky. Because it's, it's, it's like almost the same color as your fingers. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. blends. It yeah. blends. Uh, White Sox, Dave, you haven't speak. You haven't speak. I, I've never had them, but I know what they are. You're um, not going to like it, buddy. I, <laughs> I think, but white cheddar stuff, like, I can do. The okay. fake white cheddar. I think I would probably like these. So I'll have to give them a shot. They just never crossed your desk, huh? Never crossed my desk. <laughs> All right. And I don't mind doo-doo fingers, as you all know. <laughs> doo-doo finger off. I'm really excited for Chiefs pick here. Yeah. I, I mean, guy I, goes double nut. He's been smirking I, the whole I, time. I, I, well, I would have gone smart food there, but now I feel like I just I have to go triple nut. <laughs> oh, he's going. No. You're, dude, you're not, dude, think, dude, 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 you're going triple nut? I think dude. I'm going triple nut. Dude, we got Clem's walk <laughs> out of here. I'm taking the fancy Ooh. boy, the Rolls Royce of nuts, a macadamia nut. What? I think macadamia what? nuts are fucking awesome. Um Jeez. And I know where else, people are taking their headphones off. They won't look at me. Clem's crying. This are is, those salty though? Do yeah, they? Of put, course they are. <laughs> it's a nut. 
Macadamia. For the no, people I understand listening, it's a nut, this draft was like a peanuts, salty they snack added draft. This macadamia nut, nut off the board. <laughs> so great okay, keto I, nut. This, this is a great keto nut. There you go. This is big for you. The, 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 look at I can't. I can't help how the I'm taking what's at the top of my board. This is the way the draft is breaking. But but like you do acknowledge, we do have to make fun of you for being an alien once in a while. Still, I look at I like I you am, do have to acknowledge. I that. am aware. Of how this is going to come off. All right, here's a question for you. Yeah. How, how much sodium does a snack need to have to oh, be Jesus, constitute? David, you can have salted macadamia. A salted macadamia. Okay, place. so I don't think I've ever seen a macadamia until I just Google. They're it. just a little really? white. They look yeah, like chickpeas. Like, oh, they're, yeah, they're like little. Yeah, they're like this big. I will say this: they're fucking delicious. They're macadamia awesome. is they incredible, are. and yeah. they the are expensive. The price, as price fuck. point. The price are point's they? tough. Yeah, because yeah. again, on the keto. It's like one of the best snacks you could have because it's so fatty, but it's 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 tons of money. I think I think they're <laughs> only made in like Hawaii or something yeah. like that. I think that's part of the problem. But they're fucking delicious. They are delicious. You know where? Sure. How did Macadamia get into a cookie game? And more than the, any uh, other nut. No, I know. More than, yeah. more than any other farms. nut. Like the some someone was, had an in on Macadamia for cookies. I mean, they, they, they it's pack a powerful it's punch. Too, yeah. It's not too sharp. Yeah. Well, it's perfect. It's like the perfect complement to the cookie. You know, you never you never see it. Well, I guess you do see pistachio, but pe a peanut. Cookie? I feel like you see pistachio more with ice cream. Peanut Dude, butter. triple nut though. Triple nut. I don't mind and it. Is it, it still alive? The one that you thought he was going to take? Yes. Yes, me yes. too. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I, really, I got. You're I know it. Don't, it. don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that Jesus. I am. You got. I think I know what you guys think. I'm going to fuck you guys. <laughs> I think I know, but it's not. A you fun. write it down, and then afterwards you let me. You, you let us know. Macadamia nuts. I. And the thing is the build up too. He's like the Rolls Royce, and, and I was getting excited. I was like, "Oh, this is a fucking great nut." It is. I, I like the macadamia. I disagree about the Rolls Royce kind of. What, what's Holy a fancier shit. nut? No, no, Cannot not yet. Say. Come on, come okay. On. There's a nut right. out there that wears a tuxedo when it goes out. Holy fuck, dude! Uh, didn't I take peanuts? Not peanut bad. is at his blue collar but as a that's guy. Mr. Peanut no, wears peanut, a tuxedo no, no, no. in the no, eyeglass or planter. Or whatever. Yeah. He's yeah. fine. That's yeah, different. Fair 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 what talking about? I'm not talking about logos. Okay. I'm talking about a different nut, a classy nut, a okay. nut that stays out of the spotlight. I don't like that one. When this nut, it's like it's like Batman Begins when fucking uh, Christian Bale shows up to the party and, and he's like hammer. Or maybe it's Batman Returns or whatever when he shows up and they haven't seen him in like 10 years. Never mind. That's a bad analogy. But the point is when my nut wears a tuxedo and he comes out, you'll see him. Do you prefer them like in a mason jar, or do you, what's your? Uh, I don't think I've ever. They come in like the little plastic things. Yeah, I know I you're know. trying to make me into. You're trying to put me further into a corner by saying it's some kind of fancy. You know, we gotta have it in a glass jar. But no, it just comes. You get them at Mariano's in a little plastic bag, six bucks. Okay. If you would have told, even I didn't even think he was capable of this. <laughs> that was, and the thing macadamia is, nuts. This is like goes back to you guys yeah. have raccoon taste. That's not my fault. Macadamia nuts are awesome. They they absolutely should be drafted. In fact, they got great value in the third round. It's just that it's skewed by your raccoon taste. And the yeah. triple nut. Where the you, triple nut plays in. Triple into nut's it. tough. Uh, I didn't set out to have a triple <laughs> nut, but it was just I'm just <laughs> drafting what's at the top of my board. <laughs> Would oh. you have taken macadamia? I love them, but I don't think that I don't think of them as like a. He doesn't even snack. know what he's drafting. He's yeah. a, he's well, I can't take popcorn. I can't do this. You like, you're in a different are zone. Skewing everything I said. Ed texted salty snacks. Obviously, the first salty snack that pops into your head is popcorn. Mm -hmm. And then he said, "We're drafting the fucking the the salty snack aisle. I'm not getting bagged popcorn from there." So immediately took it off my board. Mm. Nothing wrong with some fucking. I can't say it, but yeah. Uh, all right, Macadamia Nuts. Uh, he said it has great value, so everybody else cross it off your board, please. <laughs> all at once. Listen. Uh, Dwight Sox, Dave, you're up. Hmm. I got my pick of three right here. Well, two, because I got the wraparound. I'm going to go. Ed, the floor will be yours after this. Beef jerky. Just standard Jack Link's beef, beef jerky. I don't like the the variations. I just go standard dry, dry ass beef jerky with no flavors. All right, please. Yeah. You don't you don't like the pick? No, no, no. I, I, you were thinking about a veto. Well, I didn't know if meat was on the if meat was available. It definitely like there are things that's like we knew this would happen. So it's mm -hmm. not like I'm mad. It's just like it's just I'm thinking. 
I'm it's on the pegboard with all the other stuff, exactly. right? And that's, and if, that's what ultimately makes me think, yeah. We've and made our way to the movie theater right now. now. We've yeah. made our way to the movie theater. I don't think we have to worry totally. about stuff that's on the totally. pegboard. Whoa, 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 whoa. We were at the baseball field with Chief and, and Exactly. We were, we were at the, the baseball field with Chief, too. We went to the baseball game. We're now in Hawaii with Chief at the Macadamia Farm. <laughs> we're all over the place. I'm yeah. not going to the movie theater if Chief's not going to a baseball game. That's a wow. fact, too. Okay, that's, that's true. Yeah. So beef. Uh, so you're any welcome. brand? Can I Thanks. can I can I give you a? Brand? I wish I what was the brand that Sydney. That was elk jerky though. That that was like, yeah, I'll, it's like something river. I, I don't know. It's Jack it Links, Dave. Just play. Awesome. Yeah, just yeah that's what I'm gonna do. I but I do want to shout out whatever Sydney's elk jerky supplier is because it is fucking incredible. Jerky. Not a real shout out if you don't know his name. Um, yeah. I'll get it. I'll get it for the blog or something. I'll write a blog on it. Um. But beef jerky, everybody's in agreement that yeah, beef, beef jerky is a good. perfect. I had it on the board. It's a good pick. Yeah, third round, that's fine with me. I'll take it all day, and then I'm going ranch. David Ranch sunflower seeds. Mm. Mm. Yeah. On my on my board. David's sunflower seeds. Ranch, ranch. Uh ranch is a. I think I pretty much stick to three flavors when it comes to these, and ranch is one of them. Yeah. Is is sunflower seed something you graduate from? Once you're done playing, yeah, but I still love them, like, when offered. And uh, for a road trip, I'll get them. Chief and I are heading out on the on the, on the open road a couple days. I'll have some uh, I'll have some beef jerky, and I'll have some sunflower seeds. When I, You have to tr also try all the stuff you said you're going to try. You'll try those on the ride, too, right? I will, I will do that. I will do some that. Some smart food. Get some smart food. I'll make yeah. sure to get some smart food. I will say, when... Like I'll, I used to have some kicks in my twenties where I went into the sunflower seed, and then, but like after a few days, your mouth is just torn to shit. You would salt it up, all that kind of stuff. But um, same I thing love as David's. You get a bad seed, it's tough. Like that pistachio. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah there is a they're not as frequent as the bad pistachio. Like if you're eating a bag of pistachios, you'll get a couple of the dead ones, as I like to call them. I don't know why. I, yeah, I'm, I've always just called them that to myself. You will get those for sunflower seeds. It's just not near on the same frequency. Mm -hmm. I love the bucket of sunflowers. You get the whole bucket, yep. too. Yeah. Just love having the bucket. I think house. this is a very good fourth rounder, Dave. Thank you, Ed. Uh, that means a lot coming from you. Of course. Of course. We've been on a, we've been on a little bit we're, of a We're on the uh, – I mean, team. we got fucking macadamia nut over there. And I like Vito macadamia, and Ma macadamia nuts are fucking delicious. I just I don't, uh, I don't think it's in the spirit of this draft. Of particular. course it is. What are you talking about? How would it not be? All right, so David Sunflower Seeds Ranch is off the board. Uh, everybody's asking, is he going to go quad nut? Quad nut. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm joking. <laughs> okay. I, I have no, I, Clem. I, I have, <laughs> was going to explode. There would be blood all I, over your nice wall here. I have no more nuts on my big board, so I'm done with nuts. Um, I am going back to the popcorn. I'm going with stovetop popcorn. So mm. I love I, – I've cooked it for the office one time because I thought it was – I think it's better. <laughs> And everyone's like, no, you're wrong. But I love it. Um, so I'm taking just stovetop popcorn that you make at home. Like, that's my – that's like Why my are favorite. you laughing? Because Tom this – is, This is just like a clinic for Chief right now. I love this. This stovetop <laughs> popcorn macadamia nuts. Stovetop popcorn. Gonna, it's make it easy for the council. Yeah, this is just a very – Well, the council's <laughs> already against me. We just, we, I had the second best cocktail draft, and I was left off completely. So – uh, the council's against me, so I'm just drafting with my heart, like I always do, and not and let the chips fall where they may. Uh, Dave, stovetop popcorn. I enjoy it. I, I enjoy all forms of non-gas station popcorn. I'll say that. Um, I love it. I got nothing really to add to it. I might. Tonight, you know what? Tonight's a good popcorn night. It's fucking 20 degrees out, rainy. Yeah, popcorn's cloudy, real keto, overcast. Right, Dave? Are they? No. No, not even close. Fuck. <laughs> um, Stovetop popcorn. Jerky Anybody else? Is though, Clem. Right? Clem's got his hand on his head. There are so many good snacks out there right now. So I, many are not going to get drafted. I've taken four of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Chief has completely just left all these snacks undrafted. I, so I, I like Chief's board a lot. Like, I love pistachios. I fucking love pistachios. I mean, yeah, talk shit about peanuts and pistachios, man. Like, that's a powerful one, too. Uh... Any problem with stovetop popcorn? I mean, it's way worse than movie theater popcorn, but it's a good pick. I disagree. Oh, wow. I I, I got to go movie theater popcorn for that. I know. Movie, I know I'm in the minority, but I disagree. Um, you have stovetop above movie theater popcorn? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. 
He Remember likes, when uh, good stove pop popcorn scene? Scream opening. Scream scene. opening. Yeah. Yes. Drew Barrymore yes. is making a stove pop pop. She does. It has to be better than microwave, though, right? It I feel is. like just the fact that you're cooking on a stove yeah. makes yeah. it better well, automatically. I don't, I don't hate it's microwave pop. No, not at all. Uh, come on, you're but up. you hate you don't like stove top, but you like microwave. No, I, I didn't say I didn't like stove oh. top. There's a couple that I really want to take here, but I don't know if I could let this one get drafted by someone else and sleep at night. So I'm taking the Snyder's hard pretzel sourdough, the ah. big box. Oh, oh, Carl walks out. Well, he had tweeted out something about something, and I replied that how Snyder's is my number one snack or whatever the thing was. So you got your number pretzel. one in the fourth round? My number one pretzel. Okay. Yep. And I just couldn't live with myself if it didn't get back. Based on this reaction, I'm guessing it wouldn't have. But So, Clem, just to clarify, are we, can you give us the shape? Yeah, it's a big one. So it's... It's it's your it's the big sourdough. Like it's, it's fucking not, it's like the really fat ones. Okay, but it's, it's a twist. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like yeah, it's like a okay. massive. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, they, you know, like you're not one. You're, you're hacking away at this thing. It uh, comes in the big oh, box. Oh, oh, the sourdough. Yes. And okay. remember back in the day, those big brown boxes yes. with the roaring fire yes. in the background. You just yep. feel warm inside looking at it. You get yourself some Snyder's. Another heart. great looking box. You got yeah. like the wheat in the background. Yep. Yep. Yeah, those are good. And those are good. They were like a staple in our house back in the day, and then I th they've like blown up to a whole new level. I feel like I've I've eaten them less as they've gotten bigger in, in a weird way. But uh, they're my personal favorites, and I again I couldn't live with myself if I didn't have that uh, on my team. So I don't know if it would have. I imagine it would have gone back to me, but how to do it? Carl, it's your time to comment on this. Absolutely. The next thing I was taking, I was excited to take it. I had, really? it, I had it circled. I was going to take a specific was, one. Well, I mean, I have it written here, Snyder hand over sourdough. But then I was in between of going the full, because I like the niblets, or yeah. the nibblers or whatever. Well, you tweeted it the other day, and I replied, yeah, and I said, these are the one. number one pretzel. Yeah. Now, I, what I was going to do was take the big ones, because those are more identified. Like, I like the nibblers, but I think gotcha. for purposes of the draft that the bigger sourdough plays better. Really? Yeah. I, no, I'd rather I, have a nibbler. I feel like the nibbler has blown up more in, the, in recent years. There's more salt per bite. <laughs> I mean... It's hard to argue that. That's yeah. That's it. You get more of the salt yeah, crystals that makes sense. per bite. Yeah, I thought that was like scientific data or something you would write. Or no, I, I haven't <laughs> talked to the guys at Snyder's of Hanover, but I can tell them as a loyal consumer that there is more salt per bite in a nibbler. That's just a. Uh, this you're is hurting. why you're Clem. This is why Clem is Clem. This is why he has such like a. Honestly, it's because you have mo movie theater popcorn staring at me at one. I'm like, fuck. I gotta just go with. The, I gotta empty the guns now. Gotta so. attack back. Yeah. I'm gonna do something crazy right now. Uh oh. Uh, so Snyder sour sourdough hard pretzels are off the board. Uh, it's back to me, Clem. I'm with you. There's so much out. There's so much. Left. So much out there, man. There's so much out there. Don't take the one I was going to take. Should I take what we've been all alluding to the whole time when this guy's on his nut spree? Yeah, I mean, it's. It, it, I'm just going to do it. You just <laughs> you got triple nut, and you somehow didn't get one of the best nuts. The best nut, maybe. Say yes. It. Say it. You go to fucking. It's always there. It's always right on that rack. It's Say in a it. box. You get those little ninety nine cent rip offs. It's fucking planters, honey honey nut roasted. I can't honey roasted. Honey roasted. That was, okay. Is that what you thought I was gonna say? No. No? Nope. nope. And I can't wait to take it. <laughs> no. I mean it's like it's it's this is what you have, have this is what happens when you put our like sophistication <laughs> out on or public like display. Thereof. Yeah, it's awful. We look like idiots, but it's a good pick. I'd. Honey roasted are I, awesome. I passed on it because I thought that you guys were going to just completely Fuck shit no, on me. Dude, for, these for are some awesome. They Dave, are, you would have had a sick killer draft with that and, micro, and movie no theater popcorn. No fucking shit. <laughs> you like them or you don't like them? I love them. But, Dave, you don't get, like, points off or anything for, like, saying what you want. Like, you could just you, you should have just drafted I, uh, no, these. No, of course. Of, I, I, I have nothing I thought, to lose. I honestly thought that it was such an outside-the-box pick. That I was going to give him no. in the last round really? because I like the honey more makes them. Fuck I like, yeah. but yeah. It, they're kind of like uh, was it trial mix? I just we're talking sweet. It's honey. That's like just pure you sugar. You drafted chocolate covered pretzels. Understand? So I avoided it for that reason. <laughs> That's why I didn't take it because I thought we were going to have the exact same conversation. So I was going to save it for my fifth pick. But that I those are my f I could eat. Just buy the carload. Oh, they're fired. They're you just so good. Start pouring it yes. down. We're yeah. not even going to get the fingers involved. Mm. In when this you were this is kid, just yeah. between me and my mouth. Right when you're here. a kid riding bikes too. This was great. You yep. just fucking and you keep going. You don't got to stop and worry about ninety nine cent packs. And the, yeah, the ninety nine cent, cent packs are yeah. awesome. And this, looking back now, 
Chief going triple nut, but the first nut being peanut, which is an absolute star of a nut, but probably like the, the worst of the nuts that he has. Yeah. As, and I'd say I have it below this too. Mm. Totally. Yeah. As well as the nut that's about to get drafted, I think as well. I don't. Well, I don't know what he's about to draft, but I. I it's yeah, just yeah. I. I think it's a little much. I don't. I think just a standard peanut is fine. Better. That's fair. All right. Carl, you're up. All right, I'm going to skip the nut for a second because I have to do. I have to, actually, you know what? Drama? No, I'm going to take the. I'm going to take the nut now. Um, I mean, dude, the way this nut hits, the texture, it's smooth. It's got a nice, easy bite. The more you chew it up, the better it goes down. It's salty. Planters is great. Guys, I'm wearing a tuxedo. I'm going out. Give me the fucking cashew. Give me a fucking cashew. I, I was praying you weren't going to say another nut, and I was like, "Oh my god, someone passed on cashew again." How do we skip? How does fancy yeah. cashew make it to the fourth round? I just don't really like them. I haven't had them in over a decade, probably, so I'm willing to try it again. But cashews are good. Cashews yeah, I'm sure they. Awesome. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. As an adult, I would like. Them. I didn't like them as a kid, so I've stayed away. Maybe actually even longer. It's probably been 20 years. Since I I've recently had a got a variety box from box from Costco: almonds, peanuts. Cashews, twelve bags a piece. I went one bag almond, one bag peanuts, twelve cashews in a row. <laughs> you know what I mean when you get the variety? Because yeah. once I was like, oh mm. my god, you can't even put these. The cashew is so much better than the next nut that they should change the name of nuts to cashews and then count every other nut as like a subset off of cashews. Cashews are great. I'm hoping. I was hoping you're going to take cashew because I think he he's going to be unstoppable with the cashews and the movie theater popcorn on that graphic is going to be tough to top. Because those are monster picks right there. Yeah, he's got a good board. A triple nut. I mean, Dave did try to take the um, the movie theater popcorn as well, but I, it's a great pick. I I I don't know cashews. And this is the thing: if you if there's nuts out that may be together, people pick the cashews out. I always find the cashews are the ones taken. Yeah, out. yeah, hmm. for sure. He doesn't. So it's just not for me, but I'll try it again because ha- I'm l- not joking. On the road trip, you guys are going to take. I'll, I'll, they I'll are a li- they're, I like them, but they're a little bland. Cashews. Oh, they're salted, no. They're a little bland. That the flavor. Nut I just get in this mode where I just think about the the shelf so much that I sleep on other things. Because to me, cashews, you need the you need the the jar. You need the jar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. You with can the get them with in the, the little tinfoil lid yeah, that you peel so back. Yeah, so I just like slept on them. Feel so like that's how I because, feel about like all of these. Like you peel, there's something about just peeling yeah. back that tinfoil lid that's just. Yeah. You but can get them in the bags. Can, planters, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and cashews, one of those things you take like a take a pretty big handful. Yeah. You know, when you get in there, you really scoop them in, and they feel good in your hand. It's not like they don't really leave too much residue. It's not. It's like an easy snack to manage in your hand. Like yeah. pistachio, you're one at a time. You know, depending on the methodology in which you're eating peanuts, those could be one at a time. Or yeah. So okay, I can't. I'm surprised you didn't. I but you know what? I, they're awesome, but I still like honey roasted a lot too. So I'm okay with it. Those could have been the first two nuts taken. Pistachio as well. I I, I think those are the top three nuts yeah. on my board. I agree. Uh, call Mac fifth round. Triple nut. <laughs> fifth round, last pick. I was gonna get cute here, but there's still a blue chipper out there, and I'm just gonna take traditional checks mix. Mm-hmm. It's um, I like it more than Giordano's. Maybe Giordano's has better have, has better flavoring. But I love the actual checks, like the little pieces of checks mix so well with like a pretzel and with the little Ghirdetto. What are those? The rye? What did you call them? Rye crackers? Rye, yeah. Those mm-hmm. are really good. And Chex Mix, too, is like the most generic thing that's out next to nuts. Like if someone's throwing a salty snack at the bar and you're sitting down and having a couple, like it's not unrealistic to suggest that you get it like have some, have some Chex Mix in close proximity. Chex Mix is fucking. It's a blue chipper, like you said. Blue I just think right? that those are so much better. Really? Yeah. I like Chex actually. Do you? Yeah, I'll eat them. I love the cereal kind. But it's with, fucking like cere- like just Chex cereal. Yeah, Chex cereal. Um, there's they have like flavors now where it's like cinnamon, peanut butter. It might be the best cereal I've ever. Had. It's like the best, my number one cereal right now. Oh, really? If you go to the store, they have. We, can we not talk about this while I'm in ketosis? <laughs> You're not in ketosis if yeah, you just started yeah. yesterday. You have like, I started this morning. I might be. I had three strips of bacon, a piece of sausage, and two eggs for breakfast. You need like 72 hours, man. I wish you were. If it was that easy. Do you, get, uh, do you get sick from it? The, the keto flu? Yeah, yeah, you can get that. Some, I've had that a few times. It Perfect. Sucks. Um, cinnamon and peanut butter. Those are my two. So if you see them at the, the, the grocery store, sometimes they're on sale. You get two for five, and you get them. Kids love them. Adults love them. There's actually probably a good amount of sugar in it, so it's kind of a – but the Chex Mix, nonetheless – 
the olds like me remember when Chex Mix used to have peanuts in them as well, mm. which was oh, a first round pick, lest we forget. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Triple nut. What gr- can you give me a um, what grade or what round do you have Chex Mix graded at? I mean, it's like a two to three. And it, it should, I'm shocked it didn't go earlier than it did. It's 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 a staple, and I've I've made homemade Chex Mix. We're talking homemade stuff. Mm. If I it was a draft prospect, it would be like a prospect with good college tape. But like they just looked like maybe just a step too slow. Maybe it's the Alabama it safety that always goes the first pick of the second round. The Giants did it with Landon Collins. They did it with Xavier McKinney. It's always that guy that's Chex Mix in my mind. Mm-hmm. Jackson, um, he stinks. <laughs> Chex Mix off the board. It's back to me. There's so many left, Club. I'm, I'm my uh, what's it called? The big board, and at the end when we say our yeah, our mentions, mentions, it's it could be its own draft. Yeah. Part two. I have so many fucking <laughs> the trilogy. I have so many pretzels though. It's just hurting me right now. Um. Fuck it. I'm gonna tell you, you. Let me know if this is allowed. I think it should be allowed because nobody took it in the chip draft and. It's it's not a chip to me, but fucking Stacy's pita chips are fucking unbelievable. But I think that's fair. I, you ever have those? They have them at the New York office. I know a lot. Do you, do you not think they're? Do you think I'm they're thinking, chips? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I mean, I just get in a bad mood when you know I take Why? macadamia nuts <laughs> and the room just. It acts like a bunch of hyenas, and you take a Stacy's, and everyone just oh, Stacy's be, is great. Let's be quiet and be deferential no, 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 to Ed, the commissioner. I've never even heard of the commissioner. That's that's right. I'm, I'm trying to think about whether or not oh. this is a valid pick. And so the first thing that that's my a head chip. Is, no, that was part of. Did we say it was the potato chip draft, or do we call it the chip draft? I, that's why I asked. That's why I asked. If, I'm if looking at the bag right now, and that's a fucking chip. Do we call it the chip draft or potato draft? Chip draft. That's fine if you. But say it's no. inside the spirit of a salty snack. Yeah, it's tricky. To, but you need the, to add something to the pita a, chip. See, I don't. I, I think I think this place. It's a pita. It's not like a. So you're just saying? Oh, it's I bad. Did, yeah. Let, let we'll let this play. Then. That's your argument that it's not good. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I think you know if you're if you're coming after hardcore after macadamia nuts and you come up with Stacy's pita chips. This is we talk again. You want to talk about thing, chips to dip? These is easily at the top fucking echelon. Like these are so sturdy. Yeah, I, and I, I would say them. a pita is like a bread. So I think this isn't similar to his Gardetto. I right? don't even know if it's in the chip aisle. I feel like it might be next to the the uh, pretzel crisps you drafted in that like next to the hummus. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Where the, I'm uh, thinking hummus when I'm thinking pita chips, and I don't think the chip draft was. You yeah. don't dip any of that in hummus. No, I, it's definitely. I would never veto this. I just yeah, it's it's on the board. It's so you don't like it though. I'm looking at what's on my board and I don't like it. Okay, so you don't like it. I'm not a I'm not a pita chip guy. Okay, no. I like them a lot, and I I don't I think I um. Do you have a flavor? Roasted garlic is one of them. Sea salt, traditional. They're all pretty good. I think I'm trying to think of the one I had in the New York office. I think they had a garlic one. They're a lot, right? There's Maybe. a there's a cinnamon sugar one that's really good. Yeah, the cinnamon That's my favorite. Is good. Are they? I ever had that. I, I, the, I, like I said, like I say all the time, I'm a huge texture guy. The crisp on these are fucking mm-hmm. lights out. So, mm-hmm. uh, I'll just go Stacy's Pita Trip. I'll just go original. Uh, Clem, to you. So many good ones. Well, at least the cashews. I, if I was gonna have to take cashews, if it was there, so I don't, that that makes it easier. Uh, going back to the road trip. It's a staple. It's a gas station legend. It's only really I usually only eat them on road trips. Bugles. Mm. Yep. It's a heavy hitter still alive. It's a heavy yeah. hitter still out there. I like a bugle. I like a bugle. You want to talk salty. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little white trash how Fuck salty Yes. Is. Yeah, bugles. You know what I used to – sometimes I'll put the opening of it on my tongue, and you can just feel the sodium just go <laughs> yeah. to work, and you're like, what the fuck am I putting bugles. in my body here? Those things pack some salt. Yeah. Um, you have to be in the mood for them. It's like yeah, – you, know, yeah, you can't yeah. just I like bugles, I think. And, like, this is another thing when you think of that aisle – Bugle stare you right in the face. Yep. The bugle guy, oh, like, yeah. Around Them, the checks Mix, they are yeah, staples yeah. of that aisle. Mm-hmm. Combos. Yep. A borderline crazy invention, whoever came up with the bugle. Because they were probably going through potato chips, and it was like one guy in the border, I'm like, I ain't got an idea. Like, what if we fold it into, like, a tent? Isn't that that's what it looks like? A, like a, yeah, it's like yeah. a little cone, right? Yeah. Yeah. So like, Or are they mini ice cream cones? Probably closer to that, I think. I think of a cone more than a tent. 
They probably were like, hey, we should make mini ice cream cones as a dessert. And then someone was like, why don't we just make these salty and sell them as a... Maybe. We'll call it a bugle. I it, think Clem should be like a consultant for Pepperidge Farms or some of these big... Like he I'm would, available. Yeah. I had course. a whole snacking show. I know. Yeah, yeah. That is yeah. true. Turns out... When snacking you're, off? Yeah, when you're reviewing snacks on a website that's growing and just like shitting on big brands, not a good way to grow. That's what I was told. I was told <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't the best of ideas. Unless you're going to put in like big numbers, you have to like not yeah. check yourself. <laughs> All right, Bugles off the board. Chief, you're up. So I'm between my cheese it and something else. I'll just go with the other one because I feel like there's so many, like there's already two cheese its So I feel like I'm going to get killed for this one too, but I don't care. I love Ritz crackers. So I don't think that's what you thought I was going to draft. Nope. No. Um, but I love Ritz crackers. That's another one from when I was a kid. I'd even like a sleeve at a time. A uh, little little glass of milk with them, some cheese if you need it. But I think Ritz crackers are great. Eddie's smirking. No, so just straight up. Just want to be clear. Yeah, straight right. up. Yep. I mean, they're good. That's it's a rigging endorsement. When yeah. you say cracker, that's I think the first thing I think of is a Ritz. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So it's better with something else on them. But I I always ate them plain as a kid, so I think it plays here. I love Ritz crackers, so I'm happy to happy to have them here. So chief snack list is if there's like a natural disaster, hit me to go into like a fucking bomb shelter. <laughs> You guys would die quickly of all your processed <laughs> foods and poison. And I'm just living on macadamia nuts and pistachios Ritz and peanuts. Cracker. No, I love a Ritz cracker to me is the best cracker. I do think if we did a cracker draft, Ritz would have to be the number one, yeah. e- even amongst the other one. I like the club too. Club's fine. Ritz is better. I think that was the first thing I wrote down was Ritz because when we're saying non chip, okay. yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's the first thing yeah. that comes to mind. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it, I'm not. It's a staple. I expect you, to Chiefs, to take a cracker, so I'm not gonna, you know. It's a cracker. Ah, quad nut would have been incredible. Quad though. nut would have been huge. The, <laughs> there, the room of erupted. There's, 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 there's one nut. more on my list, but it's I. If I was, I almost did it for the reaction, but it's not like something I have with regularity, so I didn't want to take it. All right, Dave, Mister Relevant. All right, so Chief kind of stole my pick a little bit, but not really. This was kind of uh, dig at Ed because he fucked me out of popcorn from the movie theater, but. <laughs> My favorite snack that I do all the time, some, well, I shouldn't say all the time. It's mostly, I like to just take a couple of uh, spoonfuls of peanut butter and just eat it and then done. But if I have Ritz crackers, I go Ritz crackers. So just peanut butter and Ritz crackers. It's like the Ritz bits. I think they Ooh, have them. Yeah, they the, the them. pre-made ones. Yeah, right? they have them pre-made. I don't know if I've ever had they're pre-made. Like the, I just get like, the sleeve and like I'll go through like nickel. fucking 12 of them and just a gunk of yeah. Peanut butter on top, shove it in my mouth, and go to the next. So one. are we back to back Ritz crackers? Can, I don't think you could do this. You're taking Ritz he just, crackers. He's just took Ritz crackers. I, I you said you salty peanut. snacks. <laughs> but White Sox Dave, he just took Ritz crackers, and you took Ritz crackers with the topping. Okay. Peanut butter is just peanuts and salt. You could you take could, Ritz bits with peanut butter. Or you could take peanut butter. I can't take peanut butter. Oh, no, Why no, no. not? Fuck <laughs> that. That's not what I want. Why can't you? That's Why a not? snack. You can define it, a snack for me. It's a spread it's first. It, it is a spread. Just Fingers take not Ritz on. bits with peanut butter. It's I don't know if pick. I've ever even had those. Yes. So exactly. The same thing that you're describing that Ritz created. They're just box smaller. In a bag yeah. So that you didn't have to spread the peanut and butter. And they're the size. It's like a sandwich of Ritz's, and they with the peanut butter in the middle, and they're like a they're like. They the sell size. the sleeve okay. of six. Uh, have you never seen these? They also have the small ones, but they have like the regular. I'm thinking of the mini. Sure, but they have them in many variations. Yeah. So you could do that. I don't, I don't know if I want to. Oh, God. <laughs> what were you gonna say? You said no, salty snacks. You guys snacks. Are like really like walking them through this. I what did what did you what are you actually taking then, Dave? Ritz peanut cra- butter Ritz and crackers. crackers. Ritz crackers. Yes. He just took Ritz crackers. I'm taking them with peanut butter. You can't. <laughs> Why you, can't you I? You can't do that. Tom, you're the producer. Who's who made you God? That's but like that's like saying I'm gonna take Ritz crackers but with cheese. Okay. I, I'm gonna take <laughs> cheese. It's with Merck's cheese. Like okay. that's like you can't do that. Dave, so I, 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 not in the fifth round. Not switch it to oh, saltines then. They literally make this snack. I don't know if I've ever had the snack. Am I going to take some? I've never. Just I'm take not, Ritz bits, Dave, with peanut butter. You've had them, but you've had them homemade. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. literally what it is. Fine. Watch, he's going to win the draft now because he's got a great fucking board elsewhere. You got you idiots should let him take saltines. That Trail was the chief pick. That was, was the chief pick. I thought, was was the the yeah. I thought Chief was definitely taking saltines as draft. Yeah. Sunflowers. One sure. ranch. Now we're just handing them. You can only have like one saltine at a time. That's what, true. what is it? You can't have more than ten. And then whistle, right? And oh, like, yeah, yeah. And swallow, and swallow, swallow or something. Yeah. I bet saltine you could. Challenge. I I don't know if I could. I bet you could. Would you try the saltine challenge? 
No, because you're not letting me take peanut butter and Ritz. That's like that's my salty snack. Did. If, if he, he helps does you the root, take it. The, the saltine challenge, will you let him take Ritz bits or He's, Ritz and he, peanut butter? But it just doesn't make yeah, sense, it doesn't and he doesn't does understand it, it's, it. It's this. I'm not taking the cracker or peanut butter. I'm taking them together, just like chocolate and pretzels, or or what? It, like I could find ten other things. I and we're sure. telling you, yes, this product exists, and you're refusing to I, take I, it. I don't know that I have ever had it. Integrity. Though. I don't know that I've integrity. ever. Integrity. Integrity. Yes. If you want to give it to me, fine. Like, go ahead. It's the last pick. Who gives a shit? But I don't know that I've ever had those. Cause I'm. It is so rare that I walk into a grocery store, gas station, convenience store, anything, and even look down that aisle because I'm like, not. I, I don't I, like this kind of food, really. But you're taking a spread. That's the point. This is why it's you can't do it. You're taking the combination. What if he? Of what if he just took peanut butter on a spoon? I don't. I don't want to do this. It's the fifth round. I don't want to do this. Uh, you're the one who's so doing it, though. Is it saltines? Is that the final answer? Do you answer? want saltines? No, I don't want saltines. For I sure. want Ritz, but you can give me the the. I mean, here's the thing. Everyone's thing. like, oh, everyone's like, oh, well, you guys, you went too soft. I just don't, I don't have the energy to argue. This is crazy. You're the one who's arguing. You could just They let both me. said it too. Yeah, they no, all it's, said it's, it. No one is on the I, same page This picks outside the scope of, like, he just took you Ritz crackers. It was if I, salty right, so I'm taking, like, Ritz crackers with a spread of peanut butter on it, but I don't. I don't think that applies because it's not like a prepackaged thing. Yeah, that's like you're just taking what you're Why like. Why doesn't like, it? Because you're, what you're doing is you're saying Movie I would like to have popcorn's not. I, hey, I'd like to have Chiefs fucking pick, but I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use these better than the way Chiefs doing it. You, he did that with uh, with uh, stovetop popcorn. It's a completely different style of popcorn. Yeah, it's like you're it's taking different. the exact same cracker and you're going. Dave, I'm gonna add peanut butter. To I it. know you like to argue, but you can't possibly be serious. I <laughs> am. Uh, <laughs> you just can't percent. possibly be serious. <laughs> You he, cannot tell me your brain works this way. You cannot tell me that you're serious. I'm dead serious. I don't understand what is wrong with what, taking the pair of the two. What if Carl took goldfish? I got to piss. You Carl, to Carl took goldfish. I, I don't want to argue. And then, you, and then you came argue. back and took goldfish washed down with a glass of milk. That's basically what you're That's doing right now. That's not what I'm doing. It, it's it very is. It's similar. Yeah. It's not. It's not. Fine. You, I mean, it's hard to say because there's just I, like a I, bunch I, of us sitting here on the same I side wanted, of the fence. I wanted to drop this 10 minutes ago. I, I'll i take the prepackaged whatever they're called. That's and fine. And with the last pick in this draft, Davis selected Ritz Bits. Sure. Sure. All right. Ritz Bits going on the graphic. Let's get the honorable mention. Clem, what do you got? All right. We got a whole bunch here for me. Um, I, nacho cheese pretzel combos. Those are my favorite combos. And Eddie taking it so early. Didn't even bother. The Snyder's Nuggets that we had talked about. The Nibblers. Um, wheat thins and triscuits both just getting like mm -hmm. not even like yeah, yeah. sniffed. Popcorners was, was that anyone's mm -hmm. board? Planters cheese balls. Yeah, I had I had uh, the the huge tub the tub of it the tub. Yeah, I don't want cheese balls in any serving size that is like less than you know like <laughs> comical uh, like novelty five size. Yes. yes. Um, Flavor blasted goldfish, that kind of, I think we alluded to with the cheddar cheese being a little light. Um, pretzel goldfish, I think, are slept on. Orange, the orange peanut butter cracker sandwiches, which is another good one. Mm -hmm. You remember had them? Yep. You have those kids. Mm -hmm. Club um, crackers. Th those are nice. Keebler, they're, right? Yeah. yeah the Keebler just, elves do a good job with the crackers. Just they a little do. buttery, a little salty. It's, it's a nice cracker. This was something that I had just thought of, and I, I would, stumbled upon this, and I want to hear your take on it, Clem. Chex Mix Extreme Habanero Lime. It's, it'll, I mean, I'm I'm buying the book by its cover. I've never had it, but like I want to eat these right now. They look great. That's where do we lie? habanero lime is a that's a, yeah that's extreme. Does it say extreme on it? Yeah, yeah. Just, no e right, just nope, extreme. Just the X. Yeah, that, that, it's that in a definitely lime plays. green packaging. 60% less fat, too, it says. Argument mm. resolved the second you left the studio. Ed. What happened? We're taking the Ritz. Uh, Ritz bits. Ritz bits, peanut butter. I said I would do that like a million times, too. Oh, nice. Okay. Good. Nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> couple couple I mean, what, um, unbelievable. Uh, pork rinds. So. I don't know if I've ever <laughs> had pork rinds. <laughs> I had those on the list. Those, are, good. those yeah. are big for keto. Another big one. Pork yeah. rinds yeah. and um, macadamias are like what, here. what is something that I wouldn't think uh, I need to lay off of that I absolutely do? Oh man, there's a lot. I'll, I'll, I have, like I have eleven. Catch up. I have eleven honorable mentions. Okay. Hit him up. All right, did you guys go yet? Or He's no? good. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, right I have a bunch. I might have said them already. Um, oh, the these kind of just got lost in the shuffle. Uh, the pretzels with the peanut butter inside are That's, the most addictive fucking things. So in the, the world. H. K. Andersons at Kirkland. 
Uh, yes, yes. I can the actually Kirkland. eat those. I was Carlo. between that or yeah. Stacy's, but I had too many pretzels, so I went Stacy's. And that I had just taken Snyder's yes. handy snacks. Remember, we used to dip the cheese and put it on the had cracker. That too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, potato sticks, even though it's a pain in the ass to eat, they're like shredded up potato chips, kind of, mm. except they're in stick form. Mm-hmm. Uh, corn nuts, and yep. those are so gross. <laughs> I think. I think they're those are like stink. Yeah, I don't stink. really. I'm not a huge. But they deserve guy. to be mentioned. But they're mentioned. Yeah. And then Munchies mix. I didn't know if that played. We might have drafted it in the chip draft. Yeah, that's. I would say that's chip. But yeah. Did you say Fritos? That's a chip. That's I think those chip. got drafted. All right. I would have been interested if that came up because I I know it's more leans t- chip, but no argument at all that it could be salt that's, and snake. That says corn chip. I think is okay. Is, is in the Clem, title. check your phone when you get a shot. Did you say Rich Cheese instead of the Ritz? Ritz Bits oh, I cheese. didn't say that. Yeah, that's that's another one. Ritz Bits cheese are better than peanut butter. What and else you got on your list? Andy Caps hot fries. Oh, Take us whoa. through. Yeah, those. Did, did those get mentioned or not? Nope. Andy Caps hot fries. That's big for that aisle. Yes. Uh, TGI Friday potato skins. That's big for that aisle. And the mozzarella sticks. I feel like I had the mozzarella sticks. And I was let down, and I've always had a grudge. The towards potato that skins brand. are better than mozzarella sticks. Uh, Snyder's honey mustard. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I think the best the honey form mustard, of, yeah, those are fire. I think the best form of cheese is the snapped. We got it right on the dozen. It's in the bag. Yeah, it's in the yeah. No, no, I'm 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 I just like the the plain I think those are good. version. Even the forty percent those are the porno likes. I know reduce fat, and then the uh, the toasted ones too. The ones that are look. I think those yep. are great. And the, that's why I like the regular because the regular you'll get some toasted in yes. there, which kind of mixes mm-hmm. things up. It's the good version of the ba- of the dead pistachio. Yeah. Like, oh, we got a little Ooh, toast in this one. Yeah. yeah. And the underrated thing about the cheese, it I think forty percent reduced fat is I think they just make them thinner. I think KFC did like heavy. That's this is an old hilarious. block here where they yeah. like they went into it and they just, just chopped them in It's half, just basically. a thin cheese it. Yeah, yeah. They do the cheese. It's puffs now too. Have you seen those? Yeah, and I just I people have asked me to try them and I'm like I feel like I'm gonna be let down and I just have too much love for the cheese it brand. Okay. I don't want to be let down. Do you talk about the Austin peanut butter and cheese? No. This is the most old school thing everyone's had. Peanut them. butter and cheese? No, uh, but there's oh, two yeah, different yeah, flavors. Yeah. I said that. It's the, the orange crack. The orange, yeah, yes, I said yes, that. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know what brand it was. I had to Google it. was called Austin. We could have given Dave that if he wanted that, but I don't know if he's ever had those. That's true, because those are good, too. Have you I had had those? They're the square crackers. They're orange, and then they have the peanut butter inside. You probably had them in school. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Those are good. Yeah, those I like those. Yeah, those like those are like from Aldi. I don't know if you guys have Aldi on the East Coast. Just like super cheap sack food. Yep. Yeah. And I have wheat thins. Wheat, wheat thins, thins are- and triscuits just getting just forgotten about. See, it's I crazy. Thought, I thought I like you were insinuating Chief was going to take triscuits. Triscuits. I knew he was thinking saltines. <laughs> I knew. I knew that <laughs> kind you? of slander he was setting himself. Yeah. All right, I'll run through it one more time. Well, I got some honorable mentions. Oh, here. sorry. Uh, okay, I actually was really looking for an opportunity to have a Cheeto argument with you guys, but we just didn't get there. I know Cheetos got taken in the chip draft, but then we had this conversation afterwards where it was like. Hey, I think maybe Cheeto plays if, if we do a non-chip draft. Oh, did we say that? I talked to Eddie about uh-huh. it after the chip draft. Like, it cheese curls or Yeah, whatever. like what, what do we think about Puff. this? Smoked almonds, so hot. Men's Health got in on this. They're, they're, they were, for a long time, the almond was like the number one healthy almond. Everybody was snacking almonds. Uh, but honestly, almonds kind of suck. Rolled gold, traditional classic, small bag of pretzels, always hits. Funyuns. And then how about the one company that spent a lot of money with us? We got to give them a shout out. Takis, right? Takis, Takis? Takis. I didn't know if they were chips or not. I, I, I don't know, know what they were, that. but I know chips. that they, chips, they chips. sponsored chips. some stuff, so we'll yeah. give them a shout out. They're a chip. That's why we didn't talk about them today. Yep, exactly. Anybody else, Chief? I was going to take a dry roasted almond. <laughs> I Smoke. love almonds. I do. Lo- lightly salted almonds are incredible. Yeah. And there's um, Blue Diamond. They have this one. It's, I think, a coconut version. And again, keto. I'm going to have to give Dave all my keto uh, tips and tricks. Yeah. So here's the list one more time. Carl, goldfish, cheddar, uh, movie theater, popcorn, Cheez-Its, white cheddar, planters, cashew, cashews, uh, Chex Mix, Eddie Combos, cheddar cheese pretzel, Gardettos. Pretzel crisps, planters, honey roasted peanuts, Stacy's pita chips, uh, Clem cheese, it's original, Pirates booty, Smart food, white cheddar, Snyder sourdough hard pretzels, bugles, uh, Chief salted peanuts, pistachios, macadamia nuts, stovetop popcorn, Ritz crackers, uh, White Sox Dave trail mix, chocolate covered pretzels, beef jerky, David sunflower seeds ranch, and Ritz bits with peanut butter. <laughs> What are you laughing? At? Just Dave's like at the last one, like, yep, that's my list. That's my list. You feel yeah. good about it? I feel pretty good. I would have felt a lot better if you would have elaborated and articulated what kind of salty snacks we were drafting, but it's okay. 
snacks with salt on them. Do you no, think I understand you'd have, that. You, and then he he like rejected my question prior to us getting to. Popcorn. No, he answered your question. And just his answer led you to. He was trying to help you. Thank you. It didn't. But that if if he would have just said salty snacks, anything's up for grabs. I think popcorn probably would have gone. Do you think a you'd lot better earlier. than Chief? I love cheap sport, but I don't know what that says about me. But I don't. We all know I don't like this kind of food typically. But like any nut you put in front of my face, go ahead and roast me. I'm gonna eat it. I'm not roasting it. Well, ask your question. Yeah, was, I'm talking about you know nuts and face. Ha ha ha. Oh, fourth grade mm-hmm. humor. Um, so I like his list a lot. Climb. Thank you. Any final thoughts before we wrap up here? I, but, the micro I'm I'm interested to see how the movie popcorn I think it's a it's an absolute monster on the graphic I also think there's going to be I got a lot of heat for the Cheetos I think there might be some heat about it not being a snack but I think it plays so um yeah it's going to be interesting to try nut uh, there's a lot of a lot of laughs being had here it was a good time today <laughs> a lot of a lot of fun <laughs> thank you Clem it was fun to do it in person uh thank you everybody for listening that's it for today we'll see you all tomorrow